Sometimes a fat session means sitting all day in your bathrobe and playing an old familiar game. But sometimes a fat session means taking a risk. It means sitting all day in your bathrobe and playing a game you've never played before or one that you've played one time once for like 90 minutes and it seemed really good but you had a lot going on in your life and didn't really have the mental or emotional bandwidth to fully immerse yourself in the experience. That's right, today we're playing The Elder Scrolls III, Morrowind. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero there is no event. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, this is for my voiceover reel. A prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. I, was, I feel like I could have done a better take if I was warmed up. It's like the they first words I've said in hours. Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. <laughs> oh my god. We're here. Why are you shaking? I'm you okay? I'm shaking because your voice up. is terrifying, dude. Stand up. June. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Uh, my name is also Juve. <laughs> what a coincidence. Not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached This guy's Morrowind. jacked. I'm sure they'll let us go. The guard's gonna get confused because he's not Why? gonna know which jube to let go. This is where you get off. Come with me. Look, he's looking directly between us. He doesn't know which jube to pick. Alright, um... You better do what they say. Bye, jube. I hope jube comes back. He seems cool. Uh, also, this game is running in 4.3 and capturing in 4.3, but my monitor is showing it uh, stretched 16 by 9, so everyone looks very, very wide, and it's... Get yourself uh, up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. That's honestly pretty funny. Like, this dude looks wide as fuck. This dude is built no. like a Passat. Ah. Uh, look at the beautiful this sights of Morrowind. Uh, so before I go into character creation and all that, I've played a little bit of this game one time. Uh, it seemed really, really cool, and I just uh, was very, very busy at the time. And, you know, a game like this, like, especially an old game like this, you really want to immerse yourself. You don't want to rush the experience. Oh, a level 50 door. Um, probably a bad idea to try to break in to something on the prison ship in plain view. What happens if I go back in? Are they going to get mad or no? No. Okay. Um. Just, I'm just, I'm just living in the Todd Howard dream and sandboxing my RPG experience. Let's go. All Move right. It along. Let's create our guy. You finally arrived, but our records don't show <coughs> you Oh, okay. Uh, God, it's been a while since I played an Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> this is just that guy's face. I'm just stealing people's. I, my, I stole that guy's name. I could steal this guy's face. Um. Ooh, Warcraft Two Orc. Uh, Skyrim guy. Medieval monk. Is there like I feel like there's always a race that everyone hates in these games or something, but I can't remember what it, I know. The Khajiit are like drug doing cat people. That that might be kind of fun. Are these different presets? Oh no, it's to rotate. Change sex. Face. Oh, that one's like a tiger. There's like a Bengal tiger one. Change hair. They don't have hair. Oh, they do have hair. I was just in the last one. <laughs> Wait, go back. Look at this one. Oh, that's a handsome cat. Look at that guy. Oh, man. Do we want to be like a handsome cat person? Acrobatics, though. What is this? Jump long distances, avoid damage when falling uh, from great heights. Nimble acrobats can reach areas others cannot get to and direct their path. Uh, it's kind of lame. Athletics. I want um. I want somebody who's like good with bows. Is that athletic? No, marksman. Here we go. Marksman five. Who else has marksman? 
Wow, nobody. Red guard. Northman 15. All right. Maybe Wood Elf. I kind of want to play a bow. God, God, this guy's hair is ugly. I kind of want to play a bow character. Um, I love Elder Scrolls games, but I'm not super big on first-person fantasy combat. <laughs> Get this fucking guy. Oh, it looks like a dwarf. Uh, that's just like a normal guy. <laughs> Wait, no, this is the one. <laughs> this is the one. One hundred percent. This is the one. The hair, maybe not though. Well, let me go back to the beginning. And we'll go through. The oh, it just cycles. Okay, so we've got. I wish I could just click and drag that. It's driving me nuts. Uh, normal guy hair, long hair. Oh, you can. I was just missing. <laughs> this is like the. The alien, uh, alien prequel guys, the Prometheus guys. I haven't seen the movie, but I, I assume that's what they look like. Uh, this one is weird. This is like someone's first project in Blender. It's like they're trying to model the hair, and they got pretty close. <laughs> this is Goku. Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe we're like Smug Goku. Oh, I should have made his name Smug Goku. Okay, yeah. That's 100% the guy. Please take... This is the last time you're ever going to see him because we'll have helmets on for the whole game. But please admire Smug Goku. Uh, okay, light armor, marksman, sneak... So we're like a sneaky light armor archer guy. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, I'm a little worried about survivability because I, I know this game is kind of hard, but... Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to <laughs> Thank the you. office and they'll finish your release. I'm sure I will fit right in. This guy's walking like he just shit his pants. Why am I so short? Or what else? Oh no. I think I'm just on a hill. Alright. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is um, this is class. Answers questions, generates class. Give him the info. Pick from class list. Looks like it's his dick from class list. Fill out forms yourself. Create custom class. <clears throat> Let's answer his questions. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. Oh, okay. What do you do? Do not interfere in the natural evolution of events. Uh, rather, take the opportunity to learn more about a strange animal you've never seen before. Use herbs to, to put it to sleep. Draw your dagger, ending its life with a single thrust. I mean, I feel like in real life I would use herbs, but uh, but this is to like shape my class. Do not interfere. That's This one's fucked up. I'm going to say draw dagger because I... Do, I don't want to be like an herb guy. Gives you a choice of chores. What would you <clears throat> We're going to forge with him casting iron for a new plow. Gather herbs. <laughs> it's just like herb question answers. Uh, go catch fish at the stream. Yeah, let's work in the forge. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname and even worse. <laughs> likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. Uh, I wish do you do? I wish it told me what the nickname was. Make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly. Sweet revenge. Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. <laughs> yeah. No, they call me uh, they call me Dick cuz it's cuz it's big. That's a good one. Uh beat up your cousin then tell him that if he ever calls you that nickname again, you'll bloody him worse. That's fucked up. Um although so is this guy. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like it's funny to like make up an even worse nickname for him. Yeah, that's there is that's a pretty funny. lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower a is telling the mind. truth or not. You uh, believe what? Okay. In these times, it's a necessary evil. Although you do not necessarily like the idea, a telepath could have certain advantages during a time of war or in finding someone innocent of a crime. Loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. 
There's, this is like the this is like the don't break the law just don't break the law uh is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies yeah, this is like this is like uh, fantasy game police state bullshit. It's a terrible practice. A person's thoughts are uh, his own, and no one, not even a king, has the right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. Um, I don't know. This one's like a little libertarian, but I also don't like. What if I? I don't want like a telepath in my brain. Hmm. It was terrible practice. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper has given you too much money too back much. in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? Return to the store and give the shopkeeper his hard-earned money, explaining to him the mistake. Pocket the extra money, knowing the shopkeepers in general tend to overcharge their customers. Um, decide to put the extra money to good use and purchase items that would help your family. Oh. Uh, let's be a good boy. This is a good boy, Ron. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near this you. This is like the same question. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? Okay, so let me, this is, and I'm going to pick a different answer than this, but in real life... I feel like don't get involved. I feel like the the American legal system is so uh, uh, vicious that I feel like just if you like see someone thrown from their car and you're like, oh, I have to help that person on moral grounds, they'll like they'll like go to jail for th the dumbest reasons for interfering and stuff. Uh, pick up the bag, signal the guards, knowing that the only honorable thing to do is return the money to his rightful owner. Pick up the bag and pocket it. Yeah, I'd probably signal to the guard, but like, don't. I don't want. Is there like? I don't want to touch the bag. Uh, signal to the guard. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe. Cleaning the stables. The stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you. Oh. In return for a future favor of his choosing. To his offer knowing what that your father you expects do? you to do the work is better to not be in debt. Ask him to help you knowing that two people can do the job faster than one. Agree to help him with the, with one task of his choosing in the future. It could be He could ask you some insane stuff, though. Accept his answer. Reasoning that as long as the stables are clean, it matters not who does the cleaning. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll just do it myself, I guess. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls to what are you, wait, What do you do? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Grab the hot pipe, try to push it away. Position yourself between the pipe and your mother. Push your mother out of the way. Uh, I'm going to stand in the well, way. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll. Or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. Beat you. What do you do? Drop sweet roll and step on it. <laughs> Get ready for the fight. That's awesome. You're like, I I don't even want it anymore. I like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at the last minute, throw it in the air, hoping they'll pay attention to it long enough for you to get a shot in on the leader. Also cool. Give him the sweet roll now without argument, knowing that later this afternoon, you will have all your friends with you and you can come take whatever he owes you. Oh, that's sick. Like a rogue. That's rogue style. Uh... I wish there was an option for like shove the whole thing in your mouth and uh, and chew it as fast as you can while they beat the shit out of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is the rogue answer. I'm gonna say, here's your sweet Entering roll. Town, I'm coming back later. You are witness to a very well. This is fun. Man this whole game could just be a personality crowd. test, and it'd be fun. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. A well what do you do? Okay. Well, we don't know what this guy did. Spend your life. Yeah, he could be like um, he could be like their shitty landlord, or like a evil noble. Uh, stand aside and allow the man in the mob to pass, realizing it's best not to get involved. Rush to the town's aid immediately. <laughs> to sp well, I mean, I can't just like jump in. I don't know. I don't want to do nothing, but I don't want to act without information. Uh, I guess it's better to do nothing than a warrior. No. Okay, let's just pick from class list. I, I'm glad we did that test because it was fun. But, uh... Oh, Pilgrim! God, this music is loud. 
Uh, acrobat agent. It's agent. Oh, that's like stealth. Acrobat. Um, assassin, barbarian, bard, battle mage, crusader, healer, night mage, monk, night blade. That's cool. That's just a cool name. I don't want to be that though. Pilgrim. Speed. This one's like the medium armor, talking to people and stuff. Scout. I think we're probably scout or rogue. Does rogue have marksman? No. Scout. Medium armor, long blade, athletics, minor skills, marksman. Is there no like archer? Huh. A warrior has marksman as a minor skill. It might be a good idea to go. Oh, major skill is acrobat for marksman. <sighs> Maybe this is like my first time really playing this game. I feel like warrior is a safe bet, so I can put on better armor and uh, and then shoot. To, and then like if they close the gap, I'll have my long blade, medium armor, heavy armor. Yeah, let's do warrior. I feel like that's kind of a boring choice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hybridize the class a little bit. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Okay. And Astrology. What would that be? Uh, Capricorn. Wow. They don't have that. Uh, jeez, there's a lot of a lot of options here. Fortify maximum magicka. Weakness to magicka. Womb burn. Uh, spell absorption. Fortify. The lady. Ladies for fortify personality, 25 points, fortify endurance. Jesus. I'm trying to remember what I picked last time. Because I actually, even though I didn't play much of this game, I did spend a lot of time reading these. Weakness to fire. Restore health, two points for 30 seconds. That's pretty good. Having like a, a racial healing ability. Mage. The ritual. Turn on dead. Restore health. Oh. Turn on dead's always so boring though. Because like, every time I'm not fighting a skeleton, I feel like I made a mistake. Poison for three. Poison three points for thirty seconds on touch. Damage health one point for thirty seconds on self. Invisibility. Fortify speed. Sanctuary ten points. I don't know what that does. Detect animal. Detect inch. No, that nah. Okay, the warrior. Fortify attack ten points. That's boring. What's the? Where was the one that was like heal, a little bit and do something else? That was the lord. Abilities. Tro Wait, troll can weaken it? That means I'm weak to fire times 100%? Because that sucks. Okay, let's do... Where's the other? Heal. Restore health 100 points, but that's the turn undead. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. Man, this is hard. Because I don't think this is going to be a game where you can respec. Because it's from like 1856. Yeah, okay. Let's do, uh... I don't like any of these. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's do the serpent. Yeah, let's just poison people. That's cool. Interesting. Oh, now, before he didn't I like that. These papers, make sure this information is correct. Okay, let me just look this over. Jube. Wood elf. Warrior. Serpent. Sure. This looks good to me. Star curse. Oh, that's my serpent. You now have a stats menu where you can always view your information. Right-clicking allows you to use the menus. When you're done with them, right-click again. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Okay. Can I steal stuff? Read your papers by pressing the space bar while looking at them. Press tape. For release by Emperor Uriel Septum the Seventh. Is that the? I wonder if that's the same Uriel Septum from uh, uh, Oblivion. To the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morwen, named Jub. Wood Elf Warrior. Signed Socutius Ergala. That's that guy. Okay. You now have an inventory menu where you can see what you're carrying. Like all menus, right-click to use a new menu. You can right or you can click and move objects from the world into your invent. Wait, really? Like I can just. Is he gonna get mad though? He's probably gonna get mad if I steal it. <laughs> Wait, no. I'll let your actions go for. Okay, thank God. I was just. I was learning the game. He, the tooltip told me to do it. What are you doing, Willie? Okay, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. 
My bad, everyone. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gardens. I'm just practicing uh, being being a person in the world. Okay, this is clearly not the way to go, but I like exploring. Ooh, are they gonna get pissed though? I don't want to steal anything from the. I'll start stealing as soon as I leave the tutorial building. Should learn how to do combat. Pick up the dagger on the table by activating it with spacebar. That's not stealing though. Equip the dagger by dragging it on your picture in the inventory menu. Oh, cool. How do I unequip it? Oh, uh, press F to pull out your weapon. Once your weapon is ready, hold and release the left mouse button to swing it. The harder you swing it, the more damage it does, but the more fatigue you'll drain. Cool. I really like the way this game looks. There's like big chunky hands and stuff. It's, I don't know. It's like peak old PC game look for me. Crab meat. You can eat ingredients by equipping them on the character, uh, on your character in the inventory menu. To, you have to equip food? Ingredients have different properties. Some may hurt you and some may help. Okay. Uh, is any, maybe I'll just steal some of this stuff. I could use the money. This is all like silver. Regional liquor acts like a potion. Drink potions, equip them in the inventory. Bread. Silver, silver. I hope they don't check my pockets on the way out. Equip lock picks in the inventory menu. Try picking the lock of the small chest on the shelf. Oh, okay. I was supposed to do that. Small chest. Is that? Oh, that's a chest. Look how flat that chest is. Uh. Okay. So, apprentice lock pick. Did that equip it? I think it did. Lockpick success. Okay, cool. 31 gold. God, I'm going to hit escape instead of right click a thousand times to close my menus. Crab meat. Uh, scrape jerky. Small quama egg. All right, I'm just going to... I'm cleaning these guys out. Anything that's worth more than one gold I'm taking. The firmament. By Fulka. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read all that. I think it's just about the astrology stuff. If I read everything in this game, this is gonna take me years. Also, the audio is so loud for me. I don't think it's that loud in the, uh, in the recording, but it is unbelievably loud for me for some reason. Uh, okay. Hopefully that's a little better. Can I steal the tapestries? Bread? Alright, I think we're good. I'll take the candelabra. Equip lights and torches in the- Oh, you can carry that around? Lights and torches can only be used for a limited time before they burn out. Alright, we need to move on. You have a map menu. It shows you the name of the place you're in and you're facing. Wait, that's the- That little tiny thing is the map? Oh yeah, I forgot we- <laughs> Look at our dude. Oh no. Engraved Ring of Healing. Cast and use. Restore health. Oh, so I didn't need the racial heal anyway, because I got a, a heal ring. That's cool. Paper. Vase. You now have a magic menu where you can see all your power, spells, and magic items. Like all menus, right-click to use your new menu. Click the spell or magic item you want to use and use Activate Magic. Press R to ready your active magic. Then click to cast. Uh, Is this magic menu? No, that's... Is this magic menu? I like that this is... The menus are like... This is like an OS from 1999. Like, this is uh, this is like my Morrowind desktop. It's like a Winamp theme. Um, so I would do... I would pick this, and that equips it, and then R is to... Okay, cool. <laughs> Look at my fat little hands. Look at my little sausage fingers. Press spacebar to talk to the captain. Select tro- uh, oh, that's his topics. I don't know why I thought that said trophies. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he'll start to dislike you. What's up, dude? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, so the- I was running a test. The text is gonna be, like, kinda squished in here. The recording kept breaking when I was raising the resolution, and also the game looked insane. Uh, first let me take your identification papers. Thank you, word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravius. But my background is not important. 
I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Release identification has been removed from your inventory. What's your background? He's a knight? And ask him about Morrowind. Oh boy. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why. This is like Disco Elysium, the like narrow, narrow font. Okay, wait, hold on. We're making this Disco Elysium. Oh, it doesn't scale like that. What about, what about like this? Yeah. Disco Elysium mod. Perfect. That's actually so hard to read now. Uh, I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your author authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim the seventh himself and i don't need to know any more than that when you leave this office you're a free man but before you go i have instructions on your duties instructions from the emperor tell me about duties this package came with the news of your arrival you were to take uh take it to caius cosades in the town of balmora go to the south wall corner club and ask for caius cosades they'll know where to find him serve him as you would serve the emperor himself i also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name okay so the town of the south wall corner club and ask for kaius kose okay i feel like this is a game where there's not going to be any quest markers or anything so I, I really gotta internalize this and also drink coffee um okay i think south wall corner club is in balmora is what he's getting at is north of the of Sedanin. The road passes Pelagiad. This font is really hard to read. Pelagiad Village in Fort Pelagiad. Crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmouth, and then turns west across the... I feel like I need, like, map quest. Uh, across the Odai River into Balmora. The South Wall Corner Club is the southeast of Balmora on the east side of the... This is so much... Should I be writing this down? Do I need paper? I'm going to need a paper. Hold on, I'm getting paper. I don't have, I don't have any paper. Here's a, I killed a spider with this paper. I'll just, turn, just turn it over. There's a spider on the other side, but that's okay. This is a fantasy RPG, all right? This isn't, this isn't like a clean cut bullshit RPG. It's like a dead spider ass note taken game okay balmora this, i probably don't need to write this down I've, i'm i'll just make like i'll just say north okay so just north pelagiad moonmouth and you in you there turns west across the odai river that's the only part that i'm worried about forgetting oh yeah the silt strider that's the bugs right Carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Vardenfall. Fares depend on distance to be traveled. Silt Striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. The driver directs the beast by directing, directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. That seems really unethical. Silt Striders travel between Aldrun, Balmora. Okay, so I can take this to Balmora. Muriel Septim, my trade, Morrowind, duties. Yeah, tell me about Caius. Okay, he's just at the South Wall Corner Club. All right. Um, let's get out of here before I accidentally piss this guy off. Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. Okay, thank God I didn't write all that down. You should probably check out Ariel's Trade House up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. I love that. I love when a game just says, like, I really don't have good luck. Do Deal with it. Make it quick. Okay, I'll make it quick. Are you the one that the boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. Oh, God. Is the healing ring his? I swear one of the guards has it. Uh, is he Fargoth? I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Oh, man. I have his ring, but I kind of want the healing power. Uh, yeah, no, I've definitely, I didn't, never seen that. Sorry, dude. Um, tell me a little, tell me a little secret. Daedra, you know what they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where Daedra cults worship, uh, Daedra. Where Daedra cults to worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Daedra. Stay away from them. Why? Because Daedra are nasty. And the folks that worship them are even nastier. Okay, dude. You don't need to, like, shit talk. I just got off the boat. You don't need to shit talk people to me. 
Make it quick, Outlander. I'm not gonna talk to everyone. We're gonna let's explore a little bit. Okay, this is just someone's house. I think this is the place they wanted me to go. Yeah, Earl's trade house. Oh, that's the back door. Shit. I should save. I don't wanna. What if I piss someone off? Here's all my old saves. Blades one. Ah, this one's just ah. <laughs> my guy's name was Bustos. Nice. Nice one. Uh, okay. We're doing... This is no clip one. A real. Welcome to a real's trade house. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit? You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or our most popular scrolls? Uh, you know what? I would. But first, I have to turn down the music. It's driving me insane. Okay. That's a little better. Perfect. Sorry, Aurel. Give me a little advice. If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear, uh, as, as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder, and we don't like it. But you can, does this guy think I'm like an idiot? He's like explaining not to murder people to me. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. That smuggler scum down in Adam Adam Adama Sartus, uh, for instance, the cave down near the Silt Strider platform. Uh, okay, let's go check that out. Do you? I don't think I have any money. Do I? Oh, I stole all that shit from the guards. Will you buy this? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. This guy's gonna buy all my junk. I'll keep the candelabra. Pack <laughs> Don't sell the package. Don't sell the egg. Don't sell the crab meat. Yeah, okay, that's good. So we've got... Um... Wait, how does this work? Is he... Is it automatically going to give me seller map? No. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Fuck. I think I fucked that up. I think I fucked that up. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, man. The officer refused. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's automatically... It's automatically giving me the amount that he'll pay me. Okay. I just want to make sure... I didn't... Some games you, like, ante up all this stuff, and then you have to make an offer. Uh, and if you just hit it, it just offers zero dollars. And I just didn't want to give him everything. Okay. Cool. How about that offer? Nice. Can I get some armor off you? I don't think I have armor. Okay. Common shirt. Yeah, no, that's no armor. Armor zero. Apparel. Um, 35, how much gold do I have? 166. Okay. Maybe we could get like a nice iron cuirass. Yeah, we can afford that. Heavy, medium. Ooh, imperial chain cuirass, medium. That's pretty cool. Iron greaves. I'm thinking just get like a nice breastplate off the bat, you know? Boom. Boom. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Very nice. How do I go? There was a way to go third person. I'm so scared to just randomly push buttons though. I don't wanna I don't wanna kill anyone. Okay. You're new to Sidonine, right? I'm Tolvis Othrilin. I'm sure you have questions. Go ahead, ask. I have plenty of time. Uh someone in particular. Oh, he just tells me about someone. Altmer Ariel runs the Altmer Ariel. I thought his name was Ariel. Is Altmer like a title? Runs Ariel's trade house. So Cucius. Okay, this is. He's just telling me about. Jesus Christ. She's just telling me about people. Let's go. Um. Let's go check out that bandit cave. Who's this? I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. She's got like that, uh, that snooty accent. 
I haven't seen your wood elf face before. Would you like a little advice? Or are you looking for someone in particular? Give me a little advice. Do something about those smugglers in the Adam Adam of Sardis cave. It's right over there near the Silt Strider port. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I wish... Oh, I should have bought a bow. Let's go see if that guy sells one. I don't think I have enough money, though, because I bought the stupid armor. Um, Weapon. Short bow. Oh, it's only 20 bucks. Do we need uh, arrows, though? Yeah, shit. But they're cheap, too. Short bow. Okay. Give me the chitin short bow. And your finest arrows. And that will be all for me. Oh, chitin arrow, too. Uh, give me, like, a few of those. Like, four, 30, 34. Oh, that's too much. I don't have enough money for that. Shit. How about... No, okay. Um, give back the chitin arrows. And let's just get the iron. Alright. Goodbye, Ariel. It's been a real, a real pleasure. Now, here's the thing. I wonder if there is a hotkey for different weapons. Like, if I push... No, one and two it doesn't do anything. All right. Oh, look at that chunker. Okay. So, so this is the Silt Strider port. Uh, that's still the town. So where's the bandit cave? <laughs> that's not a Wookiee noise. How much does this cost? This is the Scaport village of Sedanine Outlander in the Bitter Coast region. I'm a caravanner and I manage the Silt Strider port here. Tell me your destination if you're looking for a ride, or I can help if you're new. Or if you're new to Sedanine, I can help you with local services. Um. Destination. How much? I just want services. No, I want to know how much it costs. Sales Strider. Okay, I mean, I, they go to Balmora. Whatever. <clears throat> I'll go look around. We'll make a little bit of money, and then I feel like we'll be able to afford it if we just, like, pick some mushrooms and stuff. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Start gathering. Is there a take-all hockey that I'm not hitting? No. You just gotta... You just got a low quality of life it. Luminous Rusula. Okay. I'm gonna be rich. Oh, I think that's a bandit cave. What's this? Why is my mouse freaking out? What's happening? Draggle tail. Oh, that's a plant. What? There's no loot on it. Someone else looted this. Uh, I just realized how slow the stamina rebuilds. Um, so I'm going to have to take it really, really easy here. Uh, is this the bandit cave? To Adam, uh, Adam Asartus. Okay. Okay, so these dudes are kill on sight, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. I don't know, I don't know how to play. Okay, I have my arrows now. I should have saved. Shit. Okay. No, just commit. No, save. Do a new save. Uh, I can't save in here. Okay. Just commit. Jump. Jump off. Make him chase you. Make him chase you. <laughs> He's stuck. Yeah, buddy. Am I hurting him? There we go. I, I feel <laughs> I feel a little guilty. Oh shit! I right clicked. I feel a little guilty doing this, but I also I gotta get my XP somewhere. You know, this is the first enemy I've ever fought. Tanisic Verithai. Oh, look at this! Chitin dagger. Yes, please. Common shirt. Slave key. Gold iron arrow. Oh, leather boots. Putting those on right now. 
Netch leather boots. What did I have? Common shoes. For commoners, not for cool guys like me. Take all. Dispose of corpse. Does that just like delete the? Oh, it just deletes her. Jesus. Okay. Bellows. Okay, let's sneak. Okay, I see more guys down there. Oh, is this the slave pens? Old gate. Oh, yeah. What's up? Oh, it's Kaji. Don't run. Do you have the key to these bracers? Will you let me go? Go free. Do you have the key? Will you, will you let me go free? Unlock the slave's bracers. Yeah. Yes, Badargo is free. You're a good friend of Badargo. Go free, my friend. You freed me, Jube. <laughs> I forgot I stole that guy's name. Okay. Speak quickly. Uh, yeah. Go free. Unlock the slaves' bracers. Go free. Yep. Speak quickly. Okay, you go free too. Thank you, Jube. This guy looks like one of those weird dogs with the like fluffy ears. Oh, I can take a slave brazer. Wait, why would I want this? Drain for you, Adric Lord. Can I like enslave somebody? What is that for? Can I force someone to put that on? Wait. Oh, oh my god! Is that his health bar, the or uh, the yellow orange down there? Holy Jesus Christ! Can you guys help me out a little here? Just oh. get closer, please. Somebody. Oh, headshot. Nice. Is there a way to unthread an arrow? No. Okay. Uh, cool. Thanks. Thank you. More leather boots and a common robe. I don't like that I, like, take their clothes. Like, uh, this guy, I already killed him. I don't need to, like, reduce him down to a diaper and leave him there. It's very disgraceful. Okay. Is that all the slavers dead? Oh. Oh, water cave. Well, let's, hold on. Let's save that for last. Oh, Jesus. Nice dodge. Respect. What? Are those throwing knives? What is happening? Get out of here. I, I'm out of arrows. Didn't I pick some up, though? Iron arrows. Uh, three. Okay. I'm not really getting very much loot from this. I don't know how I'm going to buy more arrows. Jesus. <laughs> throwing knives are just, like, floating at me. <laughs> It's so weirdly intimidating. Aviopod. Okay, I got it. I think I gotta go in for the kill here with the dagger. Four to five, three to three. I think iron dagger is the best best shot here. All right, let's go. Serpentine motion. Come here. Am I? Why? Why aren't you dying? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm getting hurt, but I I feel like I'm not doing any damage. What's happening? What's happening? Why isn't this working? Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, no, I'm stuck on the stairs. I've glitched on the stairs. Please don't die. No, please. Not like this. Get out of here. Just run. I'm gonna... Can I shut the door? Oh, I forgot how to, I'm, for, I'm forgetting the keys. I'm panicking. Just go. Just go. Just go eat crab meat outside. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm... Oh, this is like day one playing a new MMO. And I don't know how to do anything. Uh... Okay. Eat the... Eat the... Oh, you have to equip the crab meat. Crab meat has no effect on you. What about the Mazti? Is that... What 
the fuck? <laughs> what that did? I think I had like a buff effect, but I don't know what. Ampule, is that health? Ampule has no effect. I'm just gonna have to eat everything until something heals me. Eat this anonymous mushroom. No effect on you. Uh, eat this mushroom. No effect on you. I already tried crab meat. We already tried this. What about bread? Bread has no effect on you. Shit! How do I heal in this game? Do I heal over time? Okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea. This is a little scummy. I'm gonna save. Uh, new save game. No clip. To help me. And I'm gonna go back in there. And I'm gonna try to. I'm, I'm gonna just. Let's spam. Why? I don't understand why I keep missing. Do I just have really low melee skill? I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand what's going on here. I, I wonder if it's doing, like, a dice roll. Oh, yeah, I have the engraved ring of healing. Heal me, sausage hands. Okay, that healed a little bit. Nice. Item does not have enough charge. Okay. Let's, uh... Boy, oh boy. Eat some jerky, maybe. How come nothing has any effect on me? Titan Dagger, Iron Dagger. Is my... Hold on. What's my blade skill here? Oh, I have long blade. But maybe I'm bad with short blades or something. Short blade. Five. <laughs> yeah, I just suck with short blade. Uh, okay, let's try that one more time. And if it doesn't work, I'll, I guess, go buy a big sword? I don't really know. I'm trying to hold the... Cl okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get her. Come on! She's shit-talking me. She knows it's over. Come on! Just hit! <gasps> it's over. It's over. Fuck. Okay. I don't think I'm a dagger guy. Bone Lord. Uh, let's go. Let's go sell all the stuff that we got and try to buy a long sword. Because I, I just don't think, uh, I don't think I'm a dagger guy. I don't think I'm cut out for dagger usage. Okay, so I think the way this is working is if you use a weapon and the weapon hit, the attack hits them, I think it's doing a dice roll of their armor rating and skill probably against my skill and some degree of randomness. So I think that's why I'm swinging my dagger a bunch and just not doing anything. Okay, barter. Can you buy, buy all these chitin daggers for me? I'm just gonna give them, like all this food does nothing to me. So I'll just sell it. Sell their clothes. The Motsi was the one thing that did something. It, it made me like glow blue. Uh, ooh, the candelabra's worth a lot. I'm selling it. Sell the mushrooms. Sell the egg. Sell the robe. I have backup boots. I'll sell these boots. Okay. Give me all that gold. Wait, did he just put on the... Did he just put on the robe? I looked away for a second, and then... Maybe he had the robe. I might be just so over-caffeinated. Someone roll that back and see if he was wearing a robe before. If he just put on the robe, I sold him. This is the best game ever made. And if not, then I just was not paying close enough attention. <laughs> okay, selling the slave bracers. And... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright. Do you have, sir, do you have a long sword I could procure? Short sword. 
broadsword. Claymore. Ooh. Ooh. I can't afford the claymore. Broadsword is long blade, one handed. Short sword. Iron saber. Oh. Oh, that's cheap, actually. Wait, why is. Why is that better? Oh, it has no thrust. Maybe that's why. Iron longsword, iron broadsword. Let's buy. Let's buy iron longsword. I would like to buy one iron longsword, sir. Thank you. Nice doing business with you. Bye. Enjoy your robe. Is there scuba in this game? Can I do drugs in this game? <laughs> you think anyone in real life, like a drug dealer, <clears throat> has ever had like uh you know like drug dealers will like na like name stuff. They'll be like, Oh, this is that like like weed strains. They'll be like, This is like that pineapple upside down kush. Uh do you think anyone has ever sold drugs as skooma? Like do you think anyone's ever had like MDMA and uh and they were like, this is like that scuba shit. I don't know. I feel like that's probably bad branding. But, uh, but who knows? Okay, let's. No clip. Three. Oh, I didn't heal. How do you heal in this game? I probably have to go to the inn. Fuck. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let's go try to win this fight. And then, then we'll see. Uh, is this like Oblivion where I level up from jumping everywhere? God, look how slow that stamina regen is. I feel like there's got to be like a rest command that I'm missing. Is there like a a rest? Okay. I need to. I need like the box for this game that has the big thick manual in it from Babbage's at the mall. Okay. Half stamina. Just chill. Okay, I have to beat the first dungeon. Okay. I'm, I'm saving again because I don't want to... If I die, and I want to give this another shot and I don't want to wait for my stamina. Yes, overwrite. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. This is already already working way better. Oh my god. Alright, so the dagger just sucked. Or I suck with the dagger. Easy. Cloth left bracer. Yep. Putting that on. Putting that on right now. Apprentice probe. <laughs> it was an apprentice probe. Ew. Take it off. Okay. Now that I have a weapon that actually works, this game rocks. I'm I'm like I'm in. I'm mentally locked in. Okay, check the barrels real quick. Ooh. Petty soul gem. Kite and left gauntlet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put that on. Cool. Okay, take all. Kite and helm. Oh, we're going to cover up the Goku hair now. Wait, <laughs> what is this? Like a motorcycle helmet. Rat meat. Gold. Sujama. I'm afraid that I'm going to pick up drugs by accident and get in trouble for trying to sell drugs. Because I don't know what all the drugs are called. Other than... I know Skuma. Chitin Curass. That's There's no way that's as good. Oh, Chitin Left Pauldron. Nice. Oh, the one pauldron. Asymmetrical pauldron. Very cool. Very Cloud Strife. Iron Left Pauldron, though. Is the, that's the one. Yeah, there we go. That's fucking cool. I know, like, two pauldrons make sense. But one pauldron is a good look. The scroll of Onduci's unhinging. Open, open forty to sixty points on. T oh, that's like unlock. Unhi I get it. Like it's like taking the hinges off a door. Okay, I thought it meant like it made someone unhinged. Short sword. Moon sugar. Okay, I know moon sugar is a drug. I know that one. So do I... Oh, it's worth a lot of money. I'm taking it, but I I feel like I'm going to get in trouble in town if I bring all this moon sugar back. 
Marsh marshmallow. Jesus. Um. The skooma. Okay. Oh, the skooma's worth so much money. Oh. Are, okay. Is this a drug dealer run? That's so much money. I. This is why people get into selling drugs in real life. Wait. Before. Oh, let's go check out the water before we get out here. This is why people sell drugs in real life, because they're like, well, I would never sell drugs. And then someone's like, well, you could sell one of them for 500 gold coins. And all of a sudden, you're like, that's not so bad. I could send my daughter to college in uh, Vardenfell, a nice university in, in the east. Okay. I cannot drown here, because it will be unbelievably embarrassing. So, no clip four... And that's where we will restore the clip to. I will uh, simply cut the video and pretend this never happened. Oh, no, we're fine. What's all this, though? Iron Saber. Get it, get it, get it quick. Get the stuff quick. Bone meal, I don't... I, okay, just get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm over and covered. Holy shit. I'm sinking. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just like... This is like the mummy. Uh, what can I drop? What's not worth any money? Iron dagger. Oh, no, don't un do not do do that. How do I just drop stuff? Oh, you just drop it out. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, drop the pants. And drop some other pants. And go, 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 go. Oh, that's close. Ooh, okay. Rusted chest. That fucking goblet. Worthless. What a bad chest. Five gold and a rusty goblet. Okay, is there anything else down here that I missed? What's that? Oh, those are the pants I threw. Basket, corpse. Okay, no, get out of here. This is a death trap. This game is cool. I like this a lot. Uh, let's see, let's see what else is in this cave, and then go back to town, and maybe rest at the inn. I have too much loot, though, so if I find anything else cool down here, I'm gonna have to start dumping stuff. Use the slave key. Are there more slavers down here? No, okay. There can't be. I'm trying to let my stamina come back, but it's tough. It just keeps going. Okay. Uh, I'll let my stamina come back a little bit. I'll also save one more time. Just, just cause. Cause I'm scared. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. I don't, I'm holding my breath in real life. I don't know why. There's something wrong with my brain. When I go underwater in a in a game, I don't know why. I just hold my breath. Holy shit, there's a giant rat up here! Do I have any arrows? I think I'm out of arrows, right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, heal magic first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now... <laughs> oh, Jesus! I, how can he hit me? I can't hit him! Maybe he'll path back up here. Oh, no. That better not be the only way out. It's blocked by a rat now. Ooh, pauldron. Oh, shit. I forgot. I forgot I have so much junk. Okay, I need to just, like dump all the pants and stuff and stop being a hoarder. Did the rat drown? Oh no, it's right. Oh my god, I almost fell in. Oh my god. Gold. Uh, I wonder if gold has a weight value. I'll have to check that. <laughs> it's like a cash register noise. Okay. Uh, I get. I'll just. I'll just leave the rat. I guess. 
I don't need to kill every single rat in the game. Right, pauldron. Okay, I think I should actually take that and make room for it because I know I said the whole thing about having one pauldron is cool, but uh, in all seriousness, I just want to maximize my armor rating. Okay, throw out the basket. Throw out the bone meal. God, expensive ring. Uh, common skirt. Okay. It was nice of me to fold it while I'm leaving all my trash in the dungeon. Where I, where does this go? Oh, oh, it loops back around. We did it. Okay, well we cleared the dungeon except for that one rat, but uh, that wasn't like a bandit rat. Like that rat didn't enslave those people. So, did I dispose of this person? I think that might have been the first guy. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful sunset. Uh, I know this game looks very old, but it also looks really good. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that bloom. This was from, like, a the bloom era of video games. Where everything was just like this. Nice. Okay, let's go sell all this junk. Let's go tap out a reel for all he's got. Is limited. I didn't even talk. Don't tell your patience is limited. I didn't even say a word to you. Fucking rude, dude. It just stood there, holding its tail and whispering. What did it say? Oh shit! You have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want any service from me. I don't want any trouble. Fuck me. But it's worth so much money. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Can you like buy a storage locker? Um, hmm. Interesting. Shit. <laughs> Who do I ask? Who do I ask where to sell drugs? Do you want any drugs? I have to give you a little advice. My trade. Maybe this guy sells drugs. I'm a commoner. I do whatever needs doing. I tell you, you're an outlander. Uh... No, I, I'm good. I don't need any lore. Thank you, sir. What do I do with drugs? No, I don't want to, like, throw them away. Oh, man. I just, like, found a bag of cocaine at the music festival. And I'm like, well, I don't do this, but I'm sure it's worth a lot of money. But now I have, now I have to go through security. Oh, that sucks. Oh man, someone is watching this and being like, you gotta take it to the, the drug guy. Is someone in particular. Ulmer Real. Okay, he. Man, can I. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Here's an idea. What about. Do you remember the the tutorial barrel where that guy's magic ring was? I don't know if I that guy, Fargoth. The guy whose ring I stole. How do I. Where was the. Was it here? Yeah, okay, this is the census office. Do you think I can go back in here and store all my drugs in the barrel here and then come back for them after I sell all my stuff? Will that work? Where's my skooma? I don't know. I don't know what anything looks like. Where's my skooma? There it is. Oh, sounds like a bubbler. Okay. That's where now if anyone finds the drugs... They, uh, no one will know they're mine, so it's fine. What a brilliant plan. It's Just going, going into the police station and putting all your drugs in, like, in like the staff lockers. Oh, uh, what a mastermind at work. Okay, I don't know what anything does, so I get, I'm just going to sell, like, everything that isn't obvious. Oh, fishing pole. I want that, though. Um, apprentice probe. I'll have to check what that does. Maybe that's like a magic item. Why don't you take my rat meat? Take this. Take all my jerky. Heather. Flynn. These are all just made up words. 
Uh, okay. Expensive ring. Chitin Curus. Bracer. Left Pauldron. Iron Club. Iron Claymore. Oh, that is that better than what I have? I'll sell everything except that. Saber. Chitin Dagger. Save my short bow. The Claymore I'm saving. Sa Halberd I don't want. Short sword. Exclusive restore agility. Salt, salt rice, wick wheat. <laughs> that's the problem with like fantasy stuff, is everything is like, oh, that's like that's bl that's blood corn. Oh, wait, what did I? I just clicked something by accident. When did I just get him, I just like gave him my shoes or something. I just clicked something by accident. What the fuck was it? Did I? Pillow. What did I? <laughs> no, what did I just give him? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Was it the pauldron? That was the bracer. Whoa, whoa, that noise is fucked up sounding. That was not supposed to sound like that. Saber. I still have my sword, right? God. Talk about quality of life. Answer. Okay, I think we're fine. If I gave him something by accident, it's not a big deal. Okay, what do you think about that, buddy? Okay, so we'll... Let's see. I'm going to buy some arrows. We're going to go get our drugs back from the police station. And then... I should have enough money to take the take the train to Belmora. Lockpick. Rear arrows. Weapons. Kite and arrow. Yeah. Yeah, just give me like a hundred of those. Oh, that's like all my money. <laughs> yeah, but I need those. Like, I'm like an archer. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate doing business with you. Okay, let's save. I. Uh, now, do we go straight to Balmora? I feel like there's probably quests in this town. Um, a little advice, secret, latest rumors. Let's see. It's in trouble up, up at Fort Frostmouth. Never heard of it. It's on an island called Solt Solzheim. Solt Solt Solzheim, north of Vardenvel. Uh, okay. Tell me about Solzheim. That's the frozen islands up to the north, right? Sounds awful to me. If you're looking to get there, you might check for transportation in Cool. There's a town in California it's called Cool, but it's spelled C O O L, and I always, uh, I always like that. It's a, it's like a dumb name for a town that I really like. Specific place. Okay, maybe we just go to Balmora, because I could always, I could always come back here. Although this is like the, this is the first place you come. I feel like I should explore a little bit. Like, look at this tower. What's this? Let me, let me just check all the NPCs before I move on. Fargoth is the guy I stole from already. This is the rude lady. To to Altmer. We Altmer are proud, wise, and beautiful. The empire is built on the arts, uh, crafts, and sciences of the high elves. Our pure blood... Ugh. Anyone talking about pure blood is a little questionable. I am Elifier, commoner. Um, okay, wait. Here's Maybe this is a quest. Processus Vitalia, Vitalius is missing. No surprise, really. He wasn't very well liked around here. Okay, well, you don't sound like you're that interested in finding him. Does anyone have a quest for me? I know this is like a hands-off sandbox RPG, but surely somebody needs help. What about you? Go ahead, stranger. <laughs> this guy is hair. This guy is 100% wearing a wig. 100%. An Imperial officer, uh, an officer of the Imperial Legion. I don't know why I can't read. Uh, give me a little, what's the rumor? Okay, Processor Vitalius. I wonder, okay, maybe he's like around here. I'm surprised he wasn't in the cave. Okay, there's a boat from Cool to Solstheim, the frozen island. That's good to know. Uh, Imperial Legion. We have garrisons on Fort Pelagiad and Pelagiad. 
Hawkmouth Fort in Ebonheart, Fort Moonmouth in Balmora, Fort Buckmouth in Alvrune, and Fort Darius in Nissus. Are you looking to join the Imperial Region? I don't know, man. This is, that's like the NCR in New Vegas, right? Like, I don't know. I like that. Listen, you guys, I like the uniforms. You guys are very cool. I'm, I don't really. This is like an opportunity for me to break from reality. I don't want to be like a RPG cop. Okay, that's another guard. Maybe this person has a quest for me. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Sorry. Someone in particular. Okay. Everyone just says the same stuff. Um, little advice? You're looking for better armor? Okay, it's just the same advice. Buy from merchants and traders who like you. Oh, I gotta go get my drugs! I keep forgetting. Okay. Let's... Is it safe to go in here? What do you want? Soul's time. Okay, everyone's just telling me how bad the cold place is. Let me save again. Because I'm paranoid of messing everything up. No one has a quest for me? Hollow tree stump. Why can I loot this tree? What the fuck? It's weird that there's like empty... Like there was just empty mushrooms earlier. Like I'm playing an MMO and someone already looted them. What about you? Do you want something? Uh... Latest rumors, advice. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Take the silt strider to Vive or Balmora. Fast and cheap, no trouble with wild animals and smugglers and bandits and outlaws. Go see Darva May Hlaren over at the strider port. All right, I mean, oh wait, this guy. Oh, that's Vodonius Nucius. Right, that's me. Oh, <laughs> I just like asked, I was like, what do you know about a guy named Vodonius? He's like, you're talking to me right now. I just told you that that's my name. Okay. Tell Darva May Claren I sent you. Really rolls off the tongue. There's really no quest here? What about you? You got a quest for me? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's go check out the tower before we get out of here. I like this game a lot. This is really cool. I also, I really like how hands-off it is. Um, I like the fact that all I know is kind of where to go eventually. Okay, here, Taver Vidrano. Let's see, do you have anything to say other than everyone else? Tell me about your trade. Oh, you're a commoner too? You're like a wizard in a tower. Okay, I think there's not going to be anything up here. Ooh, the Wraith's Wedding Dowry. What is this? This is so expensive. If I sneak, is she going to know I'm stealing up here? Uh, you gained knowledge from this book. Your unarmored skill raised to eight. Oh my god, that's long. Can I not? Can I loot it? Can I just... uh? Boop. No one will know that's stolen, right? Okay. Oh, what's that? Is that like a hermit crab? All right. I'm just about ready to head to Balmora on the Silt Strider. I do. F I just have like a feeling that there's more to do here. Uh, but I'm not really seeing where I would go. Let me just see if there's like a, a tavern. Oh, there's a guy back there, too. You're just a normal guard, right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking, sir. This guy's just checking the view. Hello, Jube. I'm Irene Lenem. Uh, okay. Just 
the same stuff as everyone. Everyone's looking for the tax collector, but no one's giving me a quest to find him. Best bet if you're new here is to hook up with one of the Imperial Guards. Oh, Imperial Guilds. <laughs> Fighters Guild or Mages Guild. It's not what you know, it's who you know. You'll get discounts on training and services. And if you need work, they know where... Okay, maybe I need to find a guild to, to get quests. Okay. Little secret. If you're thinking of traveling up country near Shagorod uh, or out Molag Amorway or inside the Ghost Fence. <laughs> That's a cool name. If you need to know about uh, corp Corpus, it's a disease that turns normal creatures into beasts, turns men into twisted, mad lumps of flesh. Superhumanly strong and full of hatred. You get Corpus from fighting with diseased creatures. It's hard to get Corpus, but harder to get rid of it. In fact, I hear there's no cure. Okay. That's uplifting. I'll be sure to look out for that. Okay. Any time now. Is there an inn? All right, I'm listening. Is it just this store? Oh, this is just the back door of the store, right? Yeah, okay. Let me just go to the store one more time. And then, if there's no inn or whatever, then uh, we'll get my drugs and we'll go. Priscar Flatfoot, you friend look like uh, you look like you could use a friend, out uh, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Recover some gold. Yeah, that's right. See, sorry, the font is really hard to read on my side. I'm sure it looks normal on the recording, but it's very weird looking. Uh, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Ah, oh, been there, bro. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know... Whoa, this guy... Is this guy a criminal? He has, like, snake eyes. Uh, I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher Fargoth. Oh, God. I already screwed over Fargoth once. He's come up light from the... Uh, oh, come up light the past couple weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. Little Fetcher's got one somewhere in town. Just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Sure. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes. I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That'll give you a nice view of all Satanine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'll sure be able to figure it out. Okay. Is it too late? It's already nighttime. That's Fargoth. Oh no, Fargoth's over there. Okay, let's see. Maybe it'll it'll trigger. I can't believe my health is not regenerated after all this time. I probably need to go sleep somewhere. I hope I didn't uh, like miss the cutoff for Fargoth doing his route or whatever. Okay, this is. The lighthouse, presumably. I think that's Farga. I would need, like, binoculars. Drink a little coffee and enjoy the view. I should have brought all the skooma up here. I could be blasting lines of skooma. Uh, just making sure he's not, like, somewhere else. Do I have like a watch? Do I know what time it is? No? Okay. This town is cool. Is that Fargoth? Why is he walking like that? <laughs> What's he doing? He's moving like a uh, like a burglar from The Sims 1. Okay, he's coming over here. Does he see me? Oh, okay. Is 
Is he hiding it in a tree? No? Alright. How am I going to know when he hides it? Okay, wait. He just went up to that the empty loot chest that was there, the hollow tree. He probably put it in there. That's probably what that's for. Is that it? Did he do it? I mean, he's going back into town now, so I think he's done being sneaky. Let me just wait another second in case he goes somewhere else. No, he's like back in town now. He's still acting weird, though. I think that was it. He stopped for a really, really long time. Oh, I'm stuck. Why do I love this game so much? Why is this so much fun? Like I haven't done, I haven't done anything, and I, I kind of like this like more than Oblivion for some reason. Hold on, let me just make sure the tree doesn't have like a. No, that's not it, right? No, that's just the mushrooms. Okay, is this it? Hollow tree stump. It is. Oh boy. Dreamin's lockpick, gold. I could just. I could just take this stuff, right? I don't need to go give it to the guy who's shaking him down. Do I? oh, but then Fargoth is gonna be like. Fargoth won't have any of his money. And that criminal will be like, well, you didn't pay me any money. So, I don't know. I already took Fargoth's ring. I don't need to do him like that. Let me use his magic ring in front of everyone. Okay. Let me go pay the man for Fargoth. At least get him out of his debt. And then we'll go get the drugs. And then we'll go to... Who is this guy? Rafflord the Braggart. I'm Raflod the Braggart. Um, okay. Is it for someone in particular or just a little advice? Do you have anything cool to tell me? Little secret. If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack him. Okay. Raflod, you have kind. You have kind eyes. You look like a nice man. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. You're not interrupting anything. I'm Elo alone, the scout. Uh, you need directions? No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Speak, traveler. Is it any stranger? Is there some specific place you're looking for? Okay, everyone just is, has the same info for the most part. Elbicius Cololius. Cool name. Nothing to say, though. Uh, all right. Let's turn in our quest. Were you able to do so? Fargas hiding place. Fargo's hiding place. You found his hiding place. That's great. Tell you what, I'll give you a hundred gold and you can keep anything else you found in there. Uh, cool. Okay. Sweet. Thanks, dude. Good that you found that, uh, for me friend. I'll make that little fetcher pay for lying to me. Oh, no! It's kind of fun messing with the little guy. I like to take something from his place and stick it in that old barrel in the census and excise courtyard. Gives the new arrival something to look forward to. Okay. <laughs> That's why I got that magic ring. Well, whatever. Dude, I would be screwed if I didn't have this ring, though. I don't even know how to heal in this game. I haven't even found, like, an inn yet. Okay, let's go get our drugs. And then take the bus. Where was it? Was it here? Wait. Oh, no. Is it locked because it's nighttime? Or was that the wrong door? What assistance do you need? <laughs> no, wait, did they lock my drugs in there because it's nighttime? Oh no, wait, this is this is it. Thank God. Okay. Thank God my thousand dollar drug stash is still here. I'm gonna have to oh, man, maybe Balmora is like a bigger city where I can sell drugs to somebody. Because otherwise I'm going to have to find a, a new stash spot every time I get to a new town, which is insane. That doesn't seem like s sustainable travel plans. Oh, whoa, there's a there's an auto walk if you hit Q. Ooh, signs. Let's check these out and then we'll get out of here. 
Oh, I kind of... I kind of want to take the road, though. Plaod, Narmok, Sedanine, Vive, Pelagiad, Ebonheart, Balmora. So Balmora's that way. Oh, do we want to walk or do we want to take the bus? Let me save. Let me save and let me back up this clip so I don't lose all this footage and then we will decide. All right, I'm back. And uh, we've got a nice view of my my Star Wars Galaxies character here from the idle camera. Uh, that helmet is actually really cool. Look the other way. I want to see what the weird goggles look like. <laughs> it looked like a Ninja Turtle. With Wait, do I have no pants on? <laughs> Why don't I have pants on? Is that what I sold to the guy? Oh, no, dude. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we have no pants. That's fine. That must be what I accidentally sold to the guy. Was my pants? I saw the boots and I just thought I was fine. Fuck. Wait, what happened to my avatar? Oh, there we go. Okay. Armor six. Okay, so here, this is the question. Are we gonna walk? Or are we going to, is this the whole, oh, okay. It's a respectable size map. I know that this one is a much smaller map than uh, than some of the other Elder Scrolls games, but so far it seems very dense, which I like. Oh wait, maybe it's not that small. Because if Balmor is up here, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is the whole town we've been experiencing. It's just this little crumb. Do we go to Balmora on foot? Oh god, it's so hard. Let me go to the bus station. And see what they say. What's up, buddy? Would you like to go? I would like to go. Tell me your destination. Uh, travel. Belmore. Oh, it's only 15 bucks. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to get lost and killed. We'll take the bus to Belmora. And then we'll see how that goes. Where would you like to go? And then... Oh, okay. I was I was trying to figure out why I was so high in the air. I thought it was like a bug. God, there's a real smog problem here. Uh, I do want to check out the Silt Strider from below. Can I get down to it? I don't want to get fall damage. Damn, look at this thing. These things are so cool. I do kind of wish they did the... It would be really annoying after a while, I'm sure. But I do kind of wish they did the World of Warcraft thing, where like the uh, the fast travel was diegetic. Like I wish that I got to ride on this thing as it walked here. That would have been cool. What the fuck is this guy? Greetings, citizen. I'm Hall. Welcome to Balmora. We're a house Halalu town. Oh, that's Halal. Uh, loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Uh, can I ask him what Halalu is? Okay, tell me about Balmora. Balmora is the council seat. The, okay, sorry, the E's and C's look exactly the same. And I was I was just trying to parse why this said council scat. The council seat of Great House Halalu uh, and the largest town in the Vardenfell, on Vardenfell, except for the Vive city. So I, again, I'm sorry. These fantasy names are, I like can't read this. Uh, located on the Odai River and sitting astride the Aldrun Vivek Road, uh, Balmora is an important mercantile trade and travel center. High Town is the administrative center with the temple and manor houses. The shops, guilds, trade houses of the commercial district are north of the river. Labor Town's modest corner clubs and homes are south of the river. Okay, wait. Corner club, I think, is where I'm supposed to go, right? South Wall. Someone in particular. Can I ask him about... None of the Halalu counselors live in Balmora. Nileno Dor... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fighters Guild... Balmora, Tribunal Temple, Sugar Lips, Habasi. It's the local Thieves Guild boss. That's a, I think I'm going to join the Thieves Guild just because of Sugar Lips. Who am I missing? Oh, Mage's Guild. Rannis Atheris. 
Uh, tell me a little secret. I heard the ordinators burned out a camp of Nervarine cult worshippers out by the ghost fence in the Foyada Ashurdan. The temple seems to be going through a lot of trouble to exterminate a bunch of simple Ashlanders. They can't help being ignorant. They're just primitive savages. And nobody takes that return of Lord Nerevar stuff seriously. Crazy rag-robed prophets. Not much threat there. Okay, well, this they're definitely, like, is going to be a second coming of <coughs> Lord Nerevar. I'm joking on a peanut. <coughs> Ugh. I'm gonna be fucked up if I died during a, a playthrough of Morrowind while I was recording. Okay, let's see. Package for Ka Caius. Directions to Caius Cosades. How do I read that? Can I... Oh. Jube. I've been given the directions of the package documents. Do not show them to anyone. Do not attempt to read the documents in the package. The package has been sealed. Your tampering will be discovered and punished. Oh, I want to read it so bad. Proceed to the town of Balmora in Vardenfell District. Report to a man named Caius Cosades. Okay. His residence is not known, but... At uh, ask at the corner club called South Wall. Oh, that's a place. I thought it was like a district. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Let me see. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> uh, tell me about South Wall. South Wall is a working class corner club in Balmora. Ca uh, east, uh, Jesus Christ, the E's and C's. East of the Odai River on the south end of Labor Street. Owned by Bacola Cautious. Bacola Cautious is the owner and proprietor of South Wall. Okay. East of the Odai River. So, let's see. Uh, local map. Okay, let's go find the river first, I guess, right? This place is so murky. <laughs> Look at this guy's proud ass walk. Excuse me, sir. Uh, greeting, citizen. I'm Shargam Groshagdulg. That's a good name. Uh, okay, they're. I've, everyone's just gonna tell me the same. I feel like the uh, the responses are generalized in each city, where most people just say the same stuff. Good to know, though. Okay, so here's the river. So it's east of the river. So let's just keep going. South wall. Are there signs on anything? That's someone's house. These are all just houses. What about up here? Get a little vantage point. Um, It might be that tall one over there. Let me top off my health. I'm not busy. I seriously would be screwed without that ring I stole from Fargoth. D uh, Dura Grabble's house. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I can't. I feel like I have cigarette smoke in my eyes. South Wall Corner Club. We did it. Let me put my weapon away. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? Are you saying that because I just walked in with a sword? So your name is Jube, and you're new here in Belmora. Well, my name is Sotilde, and I don't mind answering questions. I have nothing else on my mind right now. If I start to bore you about Morrowind lore, just let me know. This is like uh, anyone in a forum about any game. Um, do you know... About uh, Tell me some Morrowind lore, fuck it. In case you didn't know, weapons and armor are less effective when they get worn out. Repair them yourself, or if you have the skill, oh, if you have the skill, or take them to a smith for repair. Okay, that's not really Morrowind lore. That's kind of just a tool tip, I would say. Uh, Caius Cassad Cassades. That old sugar tooth? Is he like a drug addict? Oh, is that why the thieves guy is sugar lips? Is because he does moon sugar? I thought he just was like, had a sweet tooth. Uh, I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacalo Clotius, the owner. He'll know. Thank you, ma'am. And may I just say, you have beautiful hair. Erethor. From where do you hail? Uh, Jesus. Uh. Her singing in the background just, like, I don't know why. It just, like, scared. I, I thought, like, 
someone was like in a voice call with me. I don't know why that scared me so much. Oh, sugar lips! Why do you approach? Why do you have like bug legs? Uh, you're looking for me. You want to join the thieves guild? Kind of. Well, let me think about it. I don't know yet. Honor among thieves. Okay. Uh, it's good to know you're here, sugar lips. It sounds like I'm. <laughs> It's like I'm being like, like misogynistic. Like, I don't like calling someone sugar lips. It feels really rude. I'm like, hey, you stay, you stay here, sugar lips. I'll be back. Uh, Tapius, Erdescus, Chirinir. Only he stands there. That's your name? Only he stands there. Can I ask about your name? Give me a little more wind lore. Morrowind used to be free farmers and herders and fishermen ruled by great houses and their noble councils. But since the imperial occupation, the Dunmer are more dependent on trade and industry. Okay. See, that's lore. That's actually lore. Not like press the F key to take your sword out. Fane Riel. Wait, where's the owner? Um, Bacala Kloshis. He's the owner. He must be around here somewhere. Was one of these guys Bacala and I missed it? No. What? Kajik has no words for you. No one knows where Bakala is. Okay. How did it? What is this about? What Maybe. Oh, there's an upstairs. There he is. Look at this guy. Anytime now. What a fancy boy. Good day, I'm Bacala Clotius, pub publican of the south wall here in Balmora. We rent beds and- oh, thank god, I can finally rest. Limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services, specific places nearby. If you're looking for someone in particular, maybe I can help. Um, tell me about Caius. Old Caius rents a little bed and- bed and basket just up the hill. I've never heard that. I don't know if that's like a RPG thing or like a, a colloquialism I've never heard. Just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs, and then down. This is like... I'm not good at following directions. Um, out the front door. Right... Door, right. Left at the top of the stairs. Down to the end of the street. Alright, I need to go now, or I'm not gonna be... I'm gonna forget that immediately. Door. Right. Top of the stairs, left, end of the street. Do you think it's the one with the lantern? Is that good game design? Door, Vora Helles's house. Is it this unassuming door? It is. Wow, they really they, they threw a threw a bucket of yellow paint on the on the discourse here by reversing it. It's it's the least noticeable door. Any time now. Oh, my God. Dude, you're built like a fucking brick house. Uh, what? Yes, I'm Caius Cosades. But what do you mean? You were told to report to Caius Cosades. What are you talking about? Report to Caius Cosades. So you say your name is Jube, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Yeah. Yes. Very interesting. So it says here the Emperor wants to make you a novice in the blades. <clears throat> and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Jube? Package for Kai's Cassades has been removed from your inventory. Yeah, I want to join the blades. Good. Welcome to the service, novice Jube. Now you belong to the blades. Oh, that was easy. Uh, we're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Uh, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Uh, yeah, tell me about the Blades trainers. These Blades agents offer training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rith Rithleen, Tyremylin, and Nine Toes here in Balmora. In Calde okay, I'm not going to remember any of these names. And Elone the Scout can be found at Aril's Trade House. Wait, Elone? The, we met Elone. She was a blade? She was a secret blade? Uh, okay. Tell me about the blades. Or spies. Oh, you just told me this. 
Um, watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And when the Emperor commands, we obey. We're only one of the many guilds and factions in Morrowind. You should know a little about Morrowind politics before you get involved with any of these other groups. That's a that's like that's such a good video game sentence. Is like you should know a little more about Morrowind's in-world politics. I, I unironically I love that so much that it's just like you should like explore the lore. You should lore dump a little bit. God, there's a lot to ask him about. Um Uh Tell me by orders. First thing, Pilgrim. Is that like a John Wayne thing? Uh, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance and adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. What's Imperial Cult? Is that Mages? Uh, advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back here and I'll have orders for you. Oh. Okay. Ready for orders? Good. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, okay. I guess I'll go join a guild anyway, but I thought he was going to say, like, you didn't go do it yet. Go talk to Hosfot and Tabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Okay, well, I was going to probably join the Fighters Guild anyway, so. Uh, ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Six House secret cult. Probably have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antabolus and report back to me. Uh, tell me about the Nerevarines. Those are the guys who had the weird uh, cult. By the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. <laughs> I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Fucking damn, dude. Nerevarine. Some Dunmer believe that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, will one day unite all the tribes of the Dunmer. Wait, that's that's me. I think. Uh, that's Or maybe the... I don't know. I assumed the prophecy in the intro was talking about me, but I guess that's kind of like narcissistic now that I'm looking back on it. Drive out the invaders of Morrowind and reestablish the ancient laws and customs of the dark elven nations. They call this orphan and outcast the Nerevarine. Uh, they say the Nerevarine will be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer General and First Counselor Lord Indoril Nerevar. Okay, I don't think it's me. Uh, okay, that's that's pretty cool, man. Uh, tell me a little bit about the Sixth House, the other secret cult. A trusted informant says there are a secret cult associated with some strange events, and recently, more uh, some strange events recently, and more important, my informant thinks. These recent disturbances are related in some way to the never read and prophecies. Okay, that's... Uh, the illiterate Ashlanders passed down their customs and history in the form of poetic verses. Alo among the things they uh, preserve in verse are the dreams and prophetic visions of their wise women. In particular, the verses that foretell the coming of the Nerevarine. I don't know why I can never say that word. But I don't know much about it. That's why I'm sending you out to find out. Okay. I have so much I can ask him. Um... Tell me a little Morrowind history, yeah? Jeanette Sitte's little book is a good place to start. I have a copy here. Take it. You might also look for On Morrowind, the Imperial Province. Uh, yeah, I'm good, man. Maybe later. Okay. Blades Trainers. Let me just see who is a trainer in this town. Because I want I want to get strong. Rithleen. Warrior Rithlin lives two houses south upstairs. Okay, that's a good place to start. Can we just behold this man? <laughs> the craziest hair. Okay. Uh, oh, will he buy my moon sugar? No, he won't buy training. So, unarmored speechcraft hand to hand. Oh, okay. I wish I could just give him my drugs. How do I? I really need like a house so I can store all my drugs. Okay, let's go two houses south upstairs. Is this this is south? One, two. It's not you, is it? No. Rithlin's house. Yeah, this is right. 
brings you here, friend? Jesus Christ, these people are so scary looking. They have cool armor, though. Welcome, novice Jube. Rithlin is my name. Warrior is my trade. Uh, I'd be happy to share a little advice or some lore. Give me a little lore here. Ashlanders worship their ancestors. Ashlander tribes are led by their Ashkan war chiefs and guided by the wisdom and prophecies of their wise women. Okay. Um, my trade. I'm a warrior. Know how to fight. When necessary. I much rather look so tough that critters give up and run away. Uh, okay. For, for okay, so she works with long blades, which is good because that's what I want. I wear medium armor. Decent balance of protection and mobility. I train with various weapon types and armor types. I'm my own armor. I don't want to fight with worn weapons and worn armor. Okay, so I I feel like... Let's see what she has for training, because I would love to know how to fix stuff. Wow, it's so expensive. Medium armor. So, this is literally all my money. Um... Block or long? I think I'm just gonna get long blade. What was that? What? Why did she say what was that when she trained me? That was weird. <laughs> like, it's like I did something unexpected. Uh, okay, well that brought my. Let me see my stats. That brought my long blades up to thirty six. I think it said. Wait, did that give me one point? Did I just pay $300 for one point? Yikes. Okay. Let me save in case I make any uh, future stupid purchases. And, uh, cool. All right. Well, thanks for nothing, I guess. I could have just gone and I could have just hit rats in the countryside for five minutes. Okay. Um, the warrior... Guild is where I want to go. I need to ask him again where it is because I forget. Um, Fighters Guild. Okay. You have to start your service with Ida. Wait. Fighters Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor. Regulate the hiring and training of mercenaries. Training goods and services are cheaper for members, and the Guild Steward knows where to find work. Uh, you'll have to start your service with Idas FireEye, the Balmora Guild Steward. She's new, and I don't know her well. Perseus Mercius, the Aldrun Guild, or Perseus Mercius, I, I like Perseus Mercius, uh, the Aldrun Guild Steward, I know and trust, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. Okay, where's Ida's Fire Eye? Can I ask you that? No. How do I join then? Blades. Guilds and factions. Blades of the Fighters Guild. It's Fighters Guild. First one. Oh shit. Was Ida's Fire Eye in the tavern? I feel like that was one of the tavern guys. Do you know where Ida's Fire Eye is, lady? No. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Our athletic skill is getting so high from jumping everywhere. <clears throat> Alright, let's look around a little bit. What's this? South Wall Corner Club. Oh, this is the bar. Well, that's nice, because that's where I wanted to go. Okay. I mean, I could join Sugar Lips, but I'd, he didn't list off the Thieves Guild as, like, a potential viable Blades path. Let's hear. Do you know, anyone know where Idis, Idis Fire Eye is? No? Shit. Who's Kamona Tong? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. I've never heard that name before. How did I like know to ask him about his ex-wife or whatever? Okay. Shit, where I feel like he said where the where the fi the fighters guild was. Let's see. Wait, I talked about more when history guys gave me. A okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Said so one of the last blades warrior Rithlian lives two houses. Okay, wait. I feel like I should have talked to Rithlian more. Let's go back. Up the stairs, take a left. Perfect. This town's not that big. It just it feels intimidating when you don't know where anything is. Uh, okay. Background. Bacala, Belmora. Tell me about the blades. I'm a blade too, and I report to Caius just like you. 
You're welcome to use my bed to rest, but please leave my other stuff alone. Okay, I should actually use one of these blades or one of the blade beds. Uh, Komono Tong is the old criminal syndicate here in Morrowind. And as everyone around here knows, there's a gang war between the Thieves Guild and the Komono Tong. In Balmora, the Komono Tong hang out over at the corner club called the Council Club. Watch yourself if you go in there. They're not very nice people. Oh, I want to go in there and just fight everyone. Fighters Guild. The Fighters Guild in Balmora is on Trade Street. Okay. West of the river. On the right, as you head north of the... Uh, I, I, okay, I need to focus. When I read these instructions, I, just, I retain none of it. The Fighters Guild in Balmora is on Trade Street. West of the river. On the right, as you head north of the plaza... Near the south gate. I'm, am I crazy that this is like, it feels like I just can't parse this information? I still try to park. West of the river, on the right, as you head north of the plaza, near the south gate. On the right, as you head north of the plaza, near the south gate. On the right, as you head north of the plaza, near this. I, okay, I just fire eyes. This, okay, let's just, the Fighters Guild, Trade Street, uh, Let's go. I'm gonna rest in your bed though. Right rest until healed. Okay, so that is how you heal. I'm already healed, but I wanted to rest. And it <clears throat> recharges my stamina as well. No clip nine. All right, let's go. So west of the river. I don't have enough jump ability to get over that <clears throat> small crevice. Those are some big pauldrons. This is like an Apex Legends, uh, like, jetpack character. Damn. That's a cool helmet. Can I... Oh, I don't have any FIFA build. I was going to say, can I pickpocket this guy? But I think it's suicide right now. What do you want? Latest rumors. This guy, this is the least amount of questions I've been able to ask a, per a single person. The Halu and Telvani have been fighting over uh, Odirnin for years. Okay. Uh, I already, I already forgot. It was like north, north west of the river, heading north from the from the south gate. That's I think it was something like that. Oh, there's okay. It says on the map. Thank God. Guild of the Mages, Guild of the Fighters. Thank Christ. I like games that don't have waypoints, but I also, uh, I need, like, a functional map. That looks like Fighters Guild, yeah. Hell yeah. Door to the Guild of Fighters. Fasil Cherisil. So your name is Jube, and you're here in Balmora. Well, my name is Fasil uh, Cheriskel, uh, and I don't mind answering questions. I have nothing else on my mind right now. Who, who talks like that? Is that sarcasm? Um, okay. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. Yes, it's the Fighters Guild. Idris Fire Eye. Okay. Is that you? No. That's, <laughs> this guy's name is Wayne. Everyone's name is like, he who shall not stand here. And that guy is Wayne. Idris. I've been looking for you. Well, speak up, Wood Elf. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? Yes. Yes, I am. You look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Read Charter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren, and always proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind, and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. Oh, maybe this isn't for me. As, as a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest that is traitorous to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules... You must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel you can uphold these simple ideals? Okay, so just like don't, don't steal from other fighters guild. Okay, yeah, sure. You're now Jube the associate in the fighters guild. Work hard, follow orders, you'll do fine. Seek me out if you feel you're ready for advancement. I'm ready for advancement. Your talents are noteworthy, but some question some question your depth of devotion. Perform more duties for the Fighters Guild. Okay, do you have duties? Orders. A very simple contract to end an infestation of cave rats. Yeah, oh baby. Classic. 
Go to Drarain, Thales' house. It's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats, get your payment from Drarain, Thalos. Report back to me once you've taken care of this. Okay. Classic RPG quest. Rats done. This is like Elwyn Forest. East side of the river, Drarain, Thalos. Okay, you got it. Hail. Hail. Okay. East of the river. Back down here. Somebody should make an MMO that looks like this. I know there's like Elder Scrolls Online, uh, which I hear is pretty good. But it always strikes me as like an, uh, an Elder Scrolls theme park, as I've heard people describe it. I want like a, a real game like this for the server that's like 100 people. And I want player housing. Draw rain. Are you here to take care of the cave? Are you like the pest extermination guy? These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all my pillows. Uh, you like pillows, don't you, Jube? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are... Oh, they're in the house? My storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Okay. Bedroom and storage area upstairs. No, uh, cool. Can I save in your house? Yes. Okay. Holy shit, I wasn't ready. I didn't recharge my stamina. I'm... Okay, he saw me. Get him. Nice. Easy. God, I gotta get some stamina regen. It's actually driving me nuts how slow it is. Okay, and then you said the rest are upstairs, which I assume I have to go outside to get upstairs. Yeah, here we go. It's gotta be annoying to have a house where your upstairs is outside. Oh, Jesus Christ! That would not die? I thought it died. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, thank god. Uh, anything good up here to steal? No. Bunch of junk. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't steal. I'm poor, though. But this lady's gonna pay me. Uh, is, there like a, is there like a morality system? Oh, restore willpower. I'm going to sell that. Okay, I don't think... I don't think anyone will know that I took a, a little potion and a few little coins from this lady's storehouse. Well, she will. Maybe the rats got it, though. She has a hundred pillows up here. There was uh, 75 pillows in those baskets. I definitely did not take anything. Good to see you again, Jube. Uh, cave rat. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these 100 septums. It's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. Thank you. Any secrets? In Morrowind, we don't like to hear about vampires. We know that back west, the mages guild helps them hide. The mages guild is full of necromancers, and we don't like that one bit. If we see vampire here in Morrowind, we put them on a stake and roast them. Well, truth be, we tell the ordinators, let them take care of it. Private citizens have no business fighting vampires. They're too dangerous. Tell me about vampires. The Dunmer hate necromancy and the undead and hate blood vampires in particular. Blood vampires are powerful undead creatures that feed on humanoid blood. The vampire curse is contracted from disease-contaminated blood. Uh, gross. Victim of vampire attacks sometimes become vampires. There's no known cure for vampirism, but the destruction of the vampire. Ash vampires are not blood vampires. Though both are powerful and mortal undead, ash vampires do not feed on blood and have no connection with blood vampires. What's an ash vampire? What? Dunmer. We're the dark-skinned, red-eyed elven people of Morrowind. Dark elves. 
Oh, okay. Dark elf is like a racist term for Dunmer. Got it. Uh, okay. Cape rat. The rats haven't been back yet, Jib. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go back to... I'm going to go rest really quick at the old man's house. And then we're going to go back to the Fighter's Guild because we've proved our worth now. I know we're like a Morrowind Secret Service, but everyone's going to start somewhere. Did you just whistle at me? Like, this guy just like wolf whistled at me. I don't, I don't appreciate that. My eyes are up here, buddy. I don't, oh yeah, I don't have pants on. Fuck. Okay, add that to the, uh, the list of things to do is get pants. Okay, so we go to the Fighters Guild, turn in the quest, and then probably get more Fighters Guild quests or officially join the Blades. I'm not sure what it takes to officially join. I mean, I think I officially joined, but he seemed like I needed to kind of... Oh, no, he did. He gave me like a, a quest as well. Okay, well, let's turn this in and then we'll go talk to the old man again. What's up, Wayne? Uh, you're here for orders advancement. Yeah, cave rat. So you killed the rats, Jube. Not bad for you. What? That's so fucking hurtful. A local egg mine has problems with egg poachers. You're going to solve these problems. Okay. Yes, egg poachers. May sound silly, but those Quama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Drambera, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of the thieves to keep other miners from getting fancy ideas. Funny ideas. The fancy ideas. The egg poachers Sevilo Othon and Danila Velas are former egg miners. And local uh, longtime troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the poachers are dead. Yeah, tell me about Shulk Egg Mine. Short distance southwest of Valmora. In the bluffs west of the Odai River. Okay, southwest. The old suspension bridge across the Odai is just southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora until you see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, are you? Okay, wait, I need to internalize this. My brain is ruined from quality of life improvements in video games. So follow the river south until you see the bridge overhead. And that's the old suspension bridge across the Odai is just southeast of the mine entrance. Okay, I'll just go and we'll see. Speak up. Should we go talk to the old man first? Then? Uh, I could check my... Holy shit, who are you? Oh, you're just... I thought you... You're just chilling here. I thought you like wanted something with me. Let's do another save here. Is there... Does this game have a quick save? I'm so scared to press like F5 and break the recording though. Uh, the fog is gone. That's nice. I think... I'm going to go back to the old man really quick. Unless it says... Previous. Uh, gave you 200 gold to spend as I please. Told me to establish cover identity as a freelance adventurer. Join the Fighters Guild. I'm ready to come back for Kaiser orders. Spymaster has sent me to talk to Hosfa... Oh, that's what it was. Hosfa and Tabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm glad I checked. Hasfot and Tabalus. So let's go talk to that guy and get our real quest. That's the Mage's Guild. Hasfot. That's Wayne. I'll check upstairs first. Head on. Head on. Door Bell Mora, Door Bell. Okay, must be downstairs. Also, should I be checking. Should I be checking chests? Uh. She did say I could loot stuff that belongs to the guild. I don't know. I don't want to make a bad impression. These are only level 5, though. Whatever. I don't want to get in trouble with my guild. Are you Hasfot? No. Are you Hasfot? Yeah. 
There's my boy. Good day, Jube. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. Of course, there's a this for that involved. I require a favor first, then I'll tell you what you want to know. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkhnthkhand. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Dwemer puzzle box. Bring me back the Dwemer puzzle box. I'll tell you what you need to know. Okay. Little cube I'm looking for. Size of a fist. Maybe a little bigger. We have coppery metal with a circular design and symbols on one side. Some uh, lined marks on the other side. So that's all I want. That little cube. Okay. Tell me uh, where it is. Arnkgard. Um... The old Dwemer ruins at Arnkgard are extensive on the surface and underground. Head south out of town, past the Sils Trider port. Cross the bridges, cast over the Odai River. Okay, so it's near my other quest. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. Immediately on the right, you see a signpost from Molygmar. Turn right, and <laughs> I don't know, Phil. On an old road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge over Foyata Magma. Entrance to Arthgar is on the east side of the Foyada, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on the pipe nearby to open the doors. What's a Foyada? It means Five River in Ashlander. The deep, ash-dark ravines, which run down from the Red Mountain Volcano, are called Foyada. Okay. Uh, Fire Rivers. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try... Let's try to find this stuff. I feel like the map might do us a little bit of assistance once we get there. Because there's, I, I know it's near the suspension bridge we're looking for when we go south out of town. But uh, beyond that, there's no way I'm going to remember all that. All right, I see. God, this stamina thing is killing me. Um, I'm actually going to do a... a Real quick, I'm gonna see if there is a quick save. F5? <gasps> Did that say save? Saving. Okay, F5 is quick save. And then can I load from that? Yeah, okay. Good to know. Now I don't have to take so much time. Okay, so south, out of town. Where was the Silt Strider port? It's right here. Tra Pawn broker. I th oh, it's right there. It's a big bug. Okay, so turn around so I'll go to the river and then I'll descend from there south acrobatics 14 best jumper in all of Morrowind okay so that's the silt strider so where's the main road though is it, if I just go out here, is that fine? I mean, this is clearly the road, but it doesn't go south, so it must link up with a another road at some point. Yeah, let's keep going this way. All right, this is our, like this is like our first time going out in the wilderness, actually. So I'm kind of psyched because we did the bandit cave, but that was kind of the tutorial area. Is that a bad guy? Or is that a plant? <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> I'm, I'm paranoid. I'm so jumpy. Oh. Okay. That's not a bad guy. That's just another plant. No need to worry. We're not headed south, though. Wait, the map doesn't uncover? Oh, here we go. Crossroads. Okay. Caldera, Belmora, Pelagiad. Okay, well, we gotta go south, so I'm gonna go towards Pelagiad, I guess. Is this... That's not still Belmora, is it? Is that one of the forts? Moonmouth. Okay. Legion Fort. Should we check out Moonmouth? I don't I don't want to spend too much time here because I kinda wanna keep uh adventuring. Yeah, we'll come back. Moonmouth can wait. Although there's no fucking fast travel in this game, so I, I feel like when I see stuff I should stop and check it out. Can you get a horse in this game? Oh, 
I'm gonna get so lost. I, I have a really bad feeling. <laughs> okay, this is this road goes south. Yeah. Vivek Pelagiad. Ghost Gate, Balmora Caldera. Okay, let's go south. This is not really south. Well, it's as south as any of the roads are gonna go. Oh shit! Rat. Let me get my stamina up and let me equip my bow. Um, kitten short bow. Okay, let me get my stamina up. Take a sip of coffee while we do. If you're still here, thank you very much for joining me on the the second inaugural fat session. I don't know if I don't know if it's inaugural. I don't actually know how to use that word properly. But thank you all the same for being here. Let's get this fucker. Get him. Don't let him close. Oh, one more. One more. Come on. Nice. Rat meat. Okay, I don't see a suspension bridge yet. Belmora, Ghostgate, Pelagiad, Vivek, Vive. Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy shit, there's two of them! Or, oh no, he just stopped me when he hit me. Why can't I hit him? What's happening? Oh no, that time, that one, that one was on me. Get him! It's it's a, just a rat. I suck, so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, Jube, you're terrible, dude. I'm going back to the sword. That was that was a poor showing. I'll finish your current attack. Okay, before equipping a new weapon. So you can't use the menu to bypass. Uh, Wasting arrows. I should have sold all this shit. I guess I don't have that much. Is uh, I think I'm supposed to keep going south, but let me just peek up here and see. I thought maybe the bridge would be up here, but... Oh, there's an ant over there. Okay, I'm not fucking with that. Let me quick save. I'm just gonna be a good boy. I'm gonna head south, I'm gonna follow orders, and I'm gonna do my quest. I do have a bad feeling that I went the wrong way though. But let me, can I check? Uh, we're at Shulk Egg Mines. Mines a short distance southwest of Balmora. In the bluffs west of the Odai River. Hold on. Southwest is over here, though. Oh, um, maybe I was supposed to go that way. Shit. Okay, that's okay. Let's go a little further. Uh, she did say by the by the silt strider and I kind of took the silt strider and then beelined the other direction. Let's see, maybe I can Skyrim over here. What's that noise? Come on. Get me up. Get me up. Am I climbing? Oh, nice. Damn. They call it Skyrimming, but it's really, this is where it all started. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if this is a, a safe path. Whatever, let's go. Ooh, giant mushroom. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, if it's southwest, uh, this is definitely over here is the right way. Uh, they said it was a path south, so I, I assumed there would be one that went straight north-south, but clearly I was wrong.
That's a nice area. I'm surprised there's no monsters here. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. This must be the Odai River, and this must be the bridge. Okay, I'll check my journal. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That's gotta be the egg mine. Are those bandits over there? Let me save. Let me real save. New clip. 13. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna kill on sight just in case, but I am gonna get my stamina back just in case. I wish I could like target and see. Are you guys aggro? Hello? No. Okay, they're friendly. Dinoc. I'm a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm just out here taking a break. Egg poachers. Savio Othan and Danila Valas used to work here. Not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mine. Okay. Good to know. What about you? What is this about? You tell me, buddy. Eggs keep disappearing. They know the place. Easy for them to get in and out. Stay out of sight. Okay. Let's get in there. This game is so like dark. Uh, I feel like I feel like something's wrong with my eyes. Let's uh, let's go back to the the bow. Yeah. Are those? Oh, those are the eggs. Ew. Look, you can see their you can see their their triangles. You can see where the texture repeats. Oh Jesus Christ! Got him. Got him again. One more. Got him. What's that? Quama Forager. Okay. Oh, he drops. Oh, that's probably my kite and arrow. I thought he like made arrows. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a Vortigaunt. There's no way that's friendly, right? Hello? Quama worker. Are you are you guys I don't think they're aggro. Okay, cool. That's a little scrib. They're kinda cute. Okay, that scared me so bad. Sorry guys. <laughs> Looks like a Vortigan walking on all fours. Uh, okay. This door. Cavern door to Shulk Egg Mine Mining Camp. Okay, let's see what the rest of this cavern is before we go in. I'm so glad I didn't start shooting. I, I guarantee you if you take an egg, these dudes start popping off. 100%. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a fucking beetle. I'm, I'm stuck on a wall. Okay, hold on. I need my sword. This is... Uh, I need to not hit the Vortigons, though. Get him. Why can't I hit him? There we go. Get him. Get him. There we go. The sword is way better. Quama Cuddle. Okay. The workers don't mind if I kill the, the grubs, so they must know that it's cool. Okay, let's not forget that... Oh, Jesus. Let's not forget that door was back there that we need to go back to. I'm, like, out of stamina. One-shotted. Oh, no, he's not dead. Someone else is attacking me. There's two of them. 
I need stamina. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Get him again. There we go. God, I gotta say, uh, the the one thing about this game that is that feels like rough and dated is the fact that it, uh, it's doing like turn-based RPG combat where you can miss, but in real time. Uh, it just it feels rough when you're swinging a sword, and it's not like. I just need, all I need is like a block noise. That would 100% fix the problem, is if every time I swung and didn't do damage, if it was just like, ding. I just need some sort of feedback. But other than that, this game holds up. I I said it earlier, but I, I don't know why. I kind of like this more than Oblivion. And I like Oblivion more than Skyrim. But I did not really like Daggerfall, I'll be honest. It was, it felt like too big and too old. Uh, although there is Daggerfall Unity, which I would be willing to give a chance. Queen's Lair. Okay. Um, I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh, I thought he was attacking. Holy shit. Is that the guy? Is that the fucking guy? Is that, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Okay, that's gotta be. I, just, I can't see anything. It's too dark in here. Oh, and there's a bug down here too. Maybe the bug will attack him. Oh my god, this is bad. The fucking bug is in my way. Oh my god, use the ring. Use the ring of healing. There's a, oh my god, there's another one. I gotta run. I did just save, but... Okay, one... Uh, holy shit. Get out of here. Where's the door? There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh! Okay. Hopefully that body didn't despawn. How long does this ring take to recharge? It has a little red bar under it. I assume that's what's happening. Shit. I don't have any potions, do I? Restore agility, willpower. Oh, man. Soul gem. How are you supposed to heal in this game when you're out in the in the field? All right, whatever. I'm going to... We'll go down fighting. And we'll try to win. Get him. Come on. Get him. The fucking bugs. Okay, that's all right. Where did we quick save? It wasn't that long ago, right? Where is this? I don't know where this is. I mean, I know it's in the cave. Is it before I killed any of the fucking little buggies? Okay, that's fine. I don't care about their loot. We're just gonna speed run down. I could check that other door too, the other cavern door. I also think I'm missing because I'm going into these fights with zero stamina. I think that's probably not helping. Again, well, not to be a broken record, but thank God I stole this ring from Fargoth. Okay, this is the Queen's Lair. So we're already past the other door. Let me get my stamina back. Get a sip of coffee. And we're going in here. Oh my god. Someone just drove by my house going like 100 miles an hour. And it was really loud and I thought I was in the game. I thought like I'd, I, I thought like a wizard was sneaking up on me. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to try to kite the bugs though. There we go. Nice. Okay. Can I sneak? Oh, no, here you saw me. Come here. We're about to fucking get it. Yeah! 
Get it. Come on. She's got like a pickaxe. Get her. Nice. Okay. That was Danilla. Miner's pick. Common pants. Oh, I can finally put some pants on. Big upgrade. Big upgrade. Miner's pick. This is all trash. Do a quick save. Where's the other one? That's the Vortigant. Can I sneak? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh. God, it's dark down here. Oh, there he is. There's another bug over there. I don't want to kite. Get him. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Dude, what is happening? Why can't I fucking hit this man? Oh, I pulled the bug. I pulled the bug. Spam heal. Okay. That's alright. Oh, get out of the way! Don't hit the Vortigan! Holy shit. Sorry, dude. Um, I didn't mean to disturb your work. Does this guy have any loot? He has an egg. I'm not going to take the egg because I'm not an egg thief. And I don't want anyone to think I am. Nice. Okay. Let's, let's We did it. That was awesome. All these eggs are just, these are like decoy eggs. Like you're not supposed to take these eggs. It's like a, it's a trick. If you take these eggs, they're like, oh, so you'll help us, but you'll steal our eggs in the process. Okay, like my mining camp. Oh, I bet this loops around. Oh, shit. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you. I'm just, I'm literally just maxing out blade stat. I hate missing so much. It hurts me every time. What's happening? Jesus Christ. Okay, we're good. Oh, geez, there's another guy down here. Is that a, is that another poacher? I have really low health. Okay, wait, I'm quick saving. Cause I can, I can engage with arrows if need be. Are you? Oh, well, you're in our egg mines. Please don't harm the workers. They won't bother you, but Kwama foragers and warriors will attack you since they don't recognize your smell. Avoid them uh, or go ahead and kill them if you have to. Don't worry. The hive can replace fast, replace them fast enough. Okay. Wait, weren't those the Vortigans? Why didn't they attack me? Or, okay, wait. Oh no, the foragers are the... Are the little slugs. No worries. Ooh, Minecraft. Minecraft. I said <laughs> Minecraft. Ooh, Minecraft. <laughs> oh, my fucking brain is shutting down. There's something about playing games for a long time that just ruins my brain. You're an egg mine, Outlander. Yeah, okay. I get the whole egg butchers. I already did it, though. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. They're dead. What's up? Okay, anyone have anything to say that's not the same stuff? Give me some lore. About 50% of Vardenfell's inhabitants are Dunmer. The other half are Redguard, Breton Nord, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I saw the character creator screen too. I know all the races. Thanks. Acrobatics, 15. Pop, pop in our heel. Okay, so that's what the side door was, was just that little area with all those guys. This game is cool, man. I hear there's a co-op mod for this game, which I'd be very curious about trying. Let me do a proper save. No clip. 14. Uh, to carry your little poacher problem. Okay, 
egg poachers. I've had no problems with missing eggs. Yeah, you're welcome. Red guard. I don't know if you're supposed to just like ask people about their race. We're warriors by nature, quick of foot and hardy of constitution. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> it's just like someone came up to me and they were like, "So, like, you're so what's it like being like a white guy?" I'd be like, "Well, we're handy in a battle, good with a bow." I guess you could just like make up positive stereotypes. All right, let's go back. Oh, no, there was another. Let me check on the quality of my gear, the durability. Oh, it's still good. Okay, I think what we do is we take our time out here. God, can I? Do these guys have, like, a bed I can rest in? Uh, I want to do the Dunmer Ruins while we're out here, right? You guys don't have, like, a, a bed. No. Can you set up? Can you camp in this game? I just need to heal really bad, and my ring is so slow. Okay, let me check where the Dunmer... I thought that was... Um, to go to a Dwemer ruin nearby called Arkthengar... Uh, Ark Arkthenend. I'm supposed to find a little cube. Is there a Dwemer puzzle box? Okay. Arkthengand. The old Dwemer ruins are extensive with the surface. Head south out of town past the Sild Strider port. Then cross bridges east over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. Okay, well, this has got to be the bridge. So, go to the signpost and then north till Caldera. And then Molagmar. Okay, I feel like I can... I feel like I can take it from there. How do I get out of here? Okay, so... Bridge... Till sign, north to Caldera, right to Molagmar. God, this music is going hard. I'm getting a lot of emotions right now. This game is so fun. <laughs> this game rules. I fucking love. I watched a little. Um, There's like a mini documentary that. God, now I'm doubting my memory if it's about this or Oblivion. I think it's about this one. Uh, there's like a mini documentary where they interview Todd Howard about the making of uh, Elder Scrolls 3 or 4. And there's like a big conversation about how these games are kind of like the meeting point between like a sandboxy game and a more kind of like guided linear RPG. And I... Oh, shit. Is this... Hold on, I'm quick saving. Is this another egg mine? Uh, and I, I really like that approach. I like the idea that this is like there is a through line through the game that you can do. Can I talk to this guy? No. That you can do, but it's a... Uh, it's just a different Eggman. Uh, you can do, like, the main story in these games, but also, you know, you get to you get to the jacked old drug addict guy, and he's like, go prove yourself. And then you could just go out in the world and do whatever you want. Like, I mean, obviously, there's there are finite paths forward towards progression, but uh, it's even just the illusion that you're kind of on your own path or making your own way. It's very strong in this game. So, I like it. I I think, like, true, like, more true sandboxy RPGs like Kenshi, I think, suffer from a problem where there's, like, a lack of linearity. Uh, I think Kenshi is, is brilliant and forward-thinking in many ways, but it feels like there's not a lot of depth to... Sorry, I thought the battle music started. Uh, depth to, like, what you're doing. Like, um, in Kenshi, there are kind of, like, grander arcs you can follow, but it, it, it feels like... There's there's nowhere near the depth of something like this where it leads to a real like story progression. Please, can you help me? I've lost my way. I cannot find the holy place for which I am searching. Okay. Yes, the fields of Kumu. I want a pilgrimage to the holiest place, but I seem to have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. Surely you know this area better than I. Oh, you're in. You're in for a real surprise. Uh, I will try to lead you to. Do you, do you know where it is? I don't. I don't know where it is. I'll try, I guess. I know the fields of Kumu are near the water. The view from there is supposed to be breathtaking. There's a farm nearby where pilgrims stop and rest their weary legs. It was there that Lord Vivek met a poor farmer whose only Guar had died. She's just making all this up. 
this farmer could not harvest his muck sponge without his guar. And this is like, I feel like I'm reading him like another language. Now I read muck for himself or his village. Oh no. The Lord Vivek removed his fine clothes, laid them aside, and toiled in the farmer's fields, acting as a beast of burden until the entire crop was harvested. It is at the fields of Kumu that we go to pray for the same humility Lord Vivek showed on that day. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, you know where it is. Balmora. Wait. I thought you said you were going to mark it on my map. Is it on my local map? Oh. No. What? Dude. Did she just lie to me? Sidonian. Pelagiad. Oh, Fields of Kumu. Oh, it's way over there? Oy, oy, oy. Okay, I mean, you can... Are you going to follow me? Oh, Jesus. Let me do a quick save here. A regular save. Uh. God, I hope... I hope you can fight. Or do something. Because I am not much use in a fight. I'll be honest with you. Okay, well, if I if I figure out where the Dwemer ruins are first, I'm going to be pissed that she's with me. What's this? Laren Ancestral Tomb. No, I don't need to rob a grave while there's a witness with me. Look at her pumping those elbows. I'm, we're, we're going over here. Why is there battle music playing? Okay, I haven't seen a sign yet for Caldera, so we might still be going towards the, the Dwemer ruins. Oh my gosh, she's slow too. Oh, <laughs> this is, this is unfortunate. I mean, she's, oh, a sign. She's got pathing. I think she'll catch up. Okay, so sign, follow it to Caldera, and then Mog, Mogmalog or whatever. Pelagiad, Vivek, Balmora. Wait. Caldera's not on this sign. Dude. Belmora. Kumu. What the fuck? Okay, well, it said north. Wait, who's that? You're not a vampire, are you? Greetings. Uh, hi. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Yes, yeah, so I was just walking along, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. A dark elf, strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle and talked to me for what seemed like forever. I can't tell if she's mad. What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. Ah, okay. His name, Nelos. Nelos Onmar. A name that will stay uh, on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me. Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to... That's pretty romantic, actually. Uh, could you just help me for the sake of love? I have no time. I have no times for your foolish games, girl. Now, I'll try to find this man. If only for love's sake. You'll try. Thank you. So, I'm sure you'll be able to find him. Uh, he mentioned something about having to head north. So, I imagine he might have might be found in Pelagiad. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I'm certain he will want to find me again. God, it would suck to find someone in an era with no, like, telecommunications. Like, I, he would just have her glove. And then, who knows if they ever meet again. He would just have to, like, ask about her for the rest of his life anytime he wants. Although, if Morrowind is the smallest Elder Scrolls game, it's the one you're most likely to find your your long lost lover in. So there's that. Like if this was Daggerfall, they would never see each other again. Can I get a sign for, uh, for Caldera? I'd really like to know that I'm on the right path. Adana, Adanumaruan. I'm bad at reading words that are not real. Alright. Are you still coming, lady? Oh my god, she does. She, like, has to follow my A star path. Exactly. Uh. I'm 
Okay. I still don't see a sign for Caldera. Unless I... Let me check the journal again. Oh, uh, boy. Let's see. Arkthengarnd. It's south out of town past the Sills Fire Port. Cross the old bridges over the Odai... Bridges east over the Odai... Oh, shit. Oh shit, was I on the... Oh <laughs> no, was I on the right side of the bridge when I started? I went. I think I went west over the bridge. Fuck! Okay, well, let's help this lady first. And then we can go back and help. Let's help this lady. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. I hope there's not a tether distance where she, like, falls off. Plus, this buys me some time to get my ring charged up. It sounds sad when it's out of banner. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's like a, a sad dog. Okay. I'm, uh... <laughs> We're back. I alt tabbed and stopped and started the, the recording so they wouldn't lose the clip. And now the lady who was following me is gone. I thought she would have caught up. I gave it like a minute for her to catch up before I even started recording. But I don't know where she went. There's no way she went ahead, right? No, I was paused. Uh-oh. Maybe she got like eaten by a, a, a murloc. Fuck, dude. Uh-oh. Is she gone for real? Oh no, holy shit. Hey, what's up? No, don't go up there. Just follow me. Stop being weird. I know I was talking about armor asymmetry earlier with the pauldrons. I also feel like one glove is a cool look. Even if you have big fat sausage fingers. Stop turning around. I was going back looking for you. You don't need to retrace my steps. God, I hate this lady. <laughs> I'm going to run around out there like an idiot. All right, that's enough of that. Sorry. One more. Come on. Okay, are we, we're very close to the fields of Kumu. Let's finish the job. We did a good deed, though. We helped this lady on her pilgrimage. Although, I don't really... She could be, like... Her religion could be, like, hurting people, for all I know. Okay, I'm gonna run ahead to the fields of Kumu. She seems very good at following me. Let's see. Okay, it's right here. By the water, she said. With a beautiful view. Oh my god, I'm slipping. Uh... Is this it? Why? I keep getting stuck on stuff. <laughs> now I'm worried for her pathing. Okay, this has to be it. Is it the island? Let me quick save. I'm so scared. I've come this far. Hey, lady! down here is this are we here is this it? what the fuck are you doing is this it fields of kumu i'll mark it on your, over here fields of kumu is it hold on is it out there what did she just say about slaves? <laughs> I told you this lady was fucking evil. 
Are, do we swim? There's a bug out there. Or like a, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, what the fuck? What? What did she? What did she just turn on me? What the fuck? Oh, oh no! It's a piranha, or something. It's a slaughter fish. Oh Jesus! I'm hitting her. Okay, let's get out of here. There's... It's not safe here. Is this where you want to go, even? I don't even know if this is where you want to go. This is like a... Like a nest. Is this right? A muck sponge. Oh, oh, Jesus. Is that... Is this it? She did say it was like a place where they grow muck. Is that thing about to attack? It's like tracking me one to one. Muck sponge. Muck. I mean, she's. She said it was a place where they grow muck. Are we here? Should we travel together? Yes, let's keep going. Fields of Kumu. Dude, what is happening? It was there that learned. Okay. Could not harvest his muck sponge without his guar. So the field removed his fine clothes. So that we must go to pray for the same humility. I'll mark it on your map. Dude, we're here though. Oh my fucking god. Oh, she's fucking fighting. Okay. I, I'm trying to be careful. She's tough. Get his ass. Okay. Good. Grab me. I don't care. Dude, we're here. What do you want from me? At least I'm getting combat experience. I, I legitimately don't know what she wants from me. Like it... She keeps saying something. She keeps talking about slaves. All right, lady. I give you another minute of this and then I'm out. I feel like I uh, have given this a, a very fair shot. What the fuck? I'm go let's go back across because there's there's nothing. It's not. There's just crabs out here. It's not this stuff, is it? <laughs> Do you need to be underwater to finish the quest? Man. Okay. I hope she can get up here. Oh my god, I can't get up here. Oh <laughs> no, I bricked my game for a side quest. Oh wait, what about that over there? Come on, lady. Where is she? She's probably retracing my steps. Yeah, she is. What about here? Is that a sign? Fields of Kumu Shrine. Oh, hell yeah. Here in the Fields of Kumu, Vivek acted as a beast of burden for a poor farmer who could not harvest his mock sponge after his guar died. QED. We did it. Get over here. I God, I hope she didn't get stuck. I slaughtered all those muck crabs for nothing. Here it is. The fields of Kumu. The salt rice fields of Kumu. Now we just patiently await. Oh God, where is she? Oh no, where is she? Please. Please, just... Are you stuck? Just teleport here. 
No. I'm losing my mind. Where is she? She's stuck. Come. Oh, no. Come this way. You got it. Come this way. <laughs> this is insane. Come on. No, please. Swim. Just swim. Come this way. Come on. Just, we're gonna have to swim. No. Stop. Oh no, she won't follow me because she's, she's trying to follow my old path and she can't make it. Okay, wait. What if I talk to her and tell her not to follow? Travel together. No wait here. Okay. Now. Okay, now your path is uh, cleared. Travel together. Let's keep going. Excellent. Let's keep going. Okay, now you follow me in the water. Yeah. Yeah. You're damn right. Okay, we did it. I'm not giving up on this. Okay, thank God. I'm worried about slaughterfish, though. I have no slaughterfish attack. I thought it was like a quest thing where she was like... Actually, I needed a sacrifice at the fields of Kubu, and you're it. I thought for sure that's what was happening. I thought that was like a classic Bethesda quest twist, where, like, you go to dinner at someone's house, but they're eating people. Can you please, can you get up here? Please tell me you can get up here. Yes! Quick save. This is it! Are you happy? This is it, right? We're here. Fields of Kumu. Do, do we have to go inside? Let's see if she follows. Yeah, she does. Alof, the Easterner. I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, well, give me a little advice here. <laughs> Divine Intervention Scrolls. Emergency exit lets you move a lot of loot faster than you can carry on foot. Oh, is that like a town portal? Nice rumors. Okay, he's just talking about the never, 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 never Vereen. Okay. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? <laughs> you know me too well, friend. Where this is the field. What do you want? We're here. We're in the fields of Kumu, dude. Travel together. Yeah, no, wait here. I'll wait here then. Okay. I'm about to give up on you. Let's keep going. We're in the fields of Kumu. Do I need to... I don't know, man. I don't know what you want. Is, do I need to... Maybe this guy will welcome us or something? I don't know. What's up? <laughs> Look at this. This guy looks like a character from Thundercats. Uh, my friend is lost and very worried about him. Oh, God. Another side quest. My friend Edris Oral and I were traveling to Vivek. Here's a strange animal. He's a sort of an amateur naturalist. He felt compelled to seek out what was making the noises. That was hours ago. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I'll try. I'm not going to make it a priority, but well, what is this about? if I see him, I'll rescue him. Holy Jesus Christ! Look out! There's a fucking triceratops. Jesus Christ, this thing does a ton of damage. Oh my God, it killed her! I'm not that not that upset about her dying, though. Well, no, I am. I, I take it back. Fuck! Why are there dinosaurs in this game? This is like Turok. Okay, I literally, I just, I do not want, I, what does she want? What do you want? Please, tell me. Okay, I'm about to 
Oh, Jesus Christ. It's right behind you. Look out. Holy shit. Holy shit, it does so much damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, are those robots? Are there robots and dinosaurs in this game? Okay, wait, wait, maybe the docks? Is this right? Why can't I go any further? Oh, I just stuck. Is this right? Is this what you want? Come on. Dude. Okay. Uh, listen, lady, you know... I've given you a real good shot at solving this. And, uh, I know there's, like, some simple thing that I'm missing. But I'll tell you what. I don't care anymore. The fields of Kumu. Yeah, that's the, the muck fields over there. Tell you what, lady. I don't even want the reward. I'm just gonna tell, tell you what. You wait here. And no, I, I I'm confident you're gonna figure this out on your own. I have a lot of faith in you. Oh, do I want to... I kind of want to, like, look up how to do it. I feel like it's such a fucking... Okay, I'm going to look up how to do it. I'm going to... Hold on. Just hold on. Okay, thank God this is working. Uh, I alt-tabbed to figure out what I was doing wrong on this quest, and I could not get Morrowind to record again. Uh, but I, I think we're back. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, she said I don't think so, but no, lady, we're back. I do think so. Please follow me so I can get rid of you. Let's go. Okay, so the thing I was doing wrong is she didn't want to go to the actual fields of Kumu. She wanted to go to that sign that I passed by like 20 minutes ago, right here. And then in the video, she just terminates the quest when you walk up to it. But I think I was too far away from her when I got here before. Come here! What are you doing? What could you possibly be? Oh, uh, are you done now? Is this close enough now? A uh, dude. Yeah, let's keep going. What's happening? Okay, I'm about to kill her myself. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing before I just have. I have to move on with the game. I have to play the game. I can't just help this lady get, get to the one signpost for the whole session. Like, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, we're going to go to the road together. We're not going to get killed by the Triceratops. And then we're going to go to the shrine. Oh, God. Just help me fight this thing. We'll be we'll fine. I'll pull aggro. <laughs> It's not gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> this lady is gonna be the death of me. Are you still following me? Just. We're just gonna run. Okay, you're not following me. Travel together. Yes. Let's keep going. Okay, good. Now come this way. Just let's. Uh, we'll swing wide around and you won't get confused or lost or anything. Come on. Just keep on, keep it coming. Nice and steady. No. Okay, so she just, she just can't get over that hill. F fuck, dude. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking insane. <laughs> okay, maybe we, maybe we can kill a dinosaur or maybe travel together. Yes. Excellent, let's keep going. I'm gonna quick save now that she's following me so I can just spam. What about this hill? Can you make it up this hill? Come on. Make it. Make it. Okay, there's just like a dead zone over. Okay, it's right here. Just please. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's right here. Hey, thank you for your help, Jube. Here's the payment I promised you. That was not worth 150 gold, but you know what? It was worth the feeling of satisfaction. Uh, although she did keep talking about slaves, so 
I don't know if she's like a good person. Fuck you, never want to see you again. Yes, sir. Yeah, all right, see you never, lady. Okay, finally, <clears throat> we can resume being an adventurer, not being a, well, I guess adventurers escort old ladies sometimes to shrines, like that's, that's a reasonable thing for an adventurer to do. Okay, now, let's see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we bee hop up this mountain and get back to Balmora, go to the Silt Strider, go south along the Silt Strider Road, and uh, try to do the Dwemer quest because then we could advance the mainline quest. I'm not gonna be able to get down from here. No way. Maybe. What about through? I could thread the needle through here, maybe. I'm out of stamina. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Todd. Let me go. What happened to your you can go there speech? Yep. Yep. Oh my god, there's a fucking dinosaur. What the fuck is going on over here? What is this thing? Oh my god, screamed. Just go. Just don't fight it. Just go. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Just go. God, it's screaming. Okay, wait. Can I? I'm gonna make a new save, just in case. Uh, no, no clip. 17. Okay, come on, get it. Get it. Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, no. Come on. He's making a fool of us. Oh, there's fucking two of them. Oh, my God. It's a rat. There's a rat, too. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking toast. There's three of them. Why are there so many? Fuck! Okay, let's try this again. And worst case scenario, I can revert uh, two saves back. Although I, I need to be careful. I need to not quick save because I think my quick save is uh, is the one that I would need to go back to. Oh my god, they're all right behind me. There's like six guys chasing me. Just go, just go, just go. How long is the leash? Just go, just go. Don't let them catch you. Oh, maybe the ant will help. Clenching my whole body right now. There's the I can't I can't I can't. There's too many. <laughs> the audio is freaking out. The audio is freaking out. Oh no. I'm like I like broke the game. I'm like traveling backwards when I jump. It doesn't like this. Something something's fucked up. They just chase you forever? Aren't there like Stormwind guards who can help me? Come on, just be hop sideways. Just fucking be hop sideways. Oh, it's over. It's done. Oh my god, get the ring out. Get the healing ring. Okay, okay, we gotta we gotta go back. There's It was a valiant effort. There's only so much say in boxing you can do in a game like this. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. What? Okay, yeah, no, I already helped you. I, I'm done with you. Okay, let me make a real save, real proper save. I'll overwrite no clip 17. <laughs> it's fun to try stuff like that too. Like, I don't know. It's good to know that you can't outrun three pterodactyls if you b-hop over a mountain. That's like, that's useful information to have in a game like this. So I think what we do is, let me look at my map here. I think we just kind of follow the path a little bit at least. Get back towards Belmora, hit the Dwemer ruins. Take it from there. I'd like to advance the main quest a little more. I want to be a blade. Mostly just because it sounds cool. I can't believe that lady wouldn't finish the quest because I fucking wouldn't take her to the little signpost. Also, be hopping over the mountain literally just got me right here, but with 700 guys following me. <laughs> the audio engine in the game is like shredding apart under the weight of like five guys chasing me. 
I don't know. Hopefully the recording has it, but it was like, like it was like, that sounded bad. Something was wrong. Are you? Are these guys friendly? Oh, they are. They're cute. Uh oh, I like him. Look, he's pounding his little tail on the ground. That's cute. They make like a uh, like a stuffed scrib. Can I get that as like a stuffed animal? Okay. Take me home to Balmora. Nice. Here's all the dead rats I killed. Is it this way? It's right here, right? I think that's uh, Moonmouth. So I think we're almost back. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. That was a good adventure. We uh, we did the egg quest. And we, <laughs> we helped that lady. Uh, even though it was impossibly difficult to figure out. I guess she said she wanted to go to the shrine. But she said it was like a holy place. So I thought... You know, the field was, like, close enough, right? Wait, let me read the journal again, because that's the, that's the sign for Caldera right there. Arkvengard. Okay. Head south out of town past the Siltstrider Fort, then cross the bridges east over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. See a sign for Molag Mar. So is it this? I I I can't tell if this is it. Did I, I? What I'm trying to figure out is, did I cross the? Uh... Okay, okay. This is east over the Odai River. This is right. This is a hundred percent right. So let me read that one more time. North towards Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost from Molagmar. Turn right, head uphill on an old road. Ancient Dwemer Bridge. Okay. Good. That's a signpost. And a hill. See, it all works out. Sometimes you just gotta... You just gotta trust your adventurer's intuition. Molagmar. We did it. Pretty uh, pretty desolate hill up here. Kind of just like a couple Charlie Brown trees and like three of the same rock assets were used. Okay, that's a Dwemer bridge if I've ever seen one. <laughs> this looks like Fallout. Let me save again. Oh, I'll quick save. Now let me real save. I'm so scared of losing progress. And you never know in an old game like this. Oh Jesus Christ! What the f oh. Oh, but it's a fucking wizard! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> Bo is not doing anything. <laughs> Shit. Ow, that hurt a lot. Dude. Okay, he's half health. Oh, he's coming in now. Shot him in the head. Get him in. Come on. Oh my god. I'll be better prepared for this next time. Uh, where is he? What? What is going on? Where is he? Oh my God! What the fuck? He's only. It's just a pair of legs. What's happening? Oh my God. 
What's happening? I'm. Uh, this is freaking me out. Okay, he's taking damage. It's the, the, the like the render layers are all fucked up. He's just a pair of legs. Now he's like a cut in half pair of legs. Oh, you can shoot the spells. That's cool. Oh my god. I can't tell where he is because his legs are disappearing. Oh shit, that hurts so hard. Oh my god, he's just a floating staff. This is bad. I, 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 I'm freaking out. <laughs> I can't tell where to shoot. Please. Just die. Oh my god, I'm stuck on a rock. I'm stuck on a tree. Oh my god, please no. Wait, hold on. Now and I might let you live. Okay. Hold on. No clip. 19. Scum. Because I'm saving mid fight. Oh my fucking god. Oh, the, the save fixed him. Okay, good. Now I can see him. But he's gonna probably kill me. I probably will have to load, and then I'll pull out my sword and beat him that way. Oh God. Okay, that's fine. I couldn't. I couldn't like. I couldn't see him. Okay. Let's give this another shot. Come on, beat his ass. Beat his ass. Yes. Snowy Granius. What a freak that guy was. Common pants, kite and arrow. Oh, iron cuirass. Is that better than mine? Armor 14 medium. Armor 11 heavy. No. Ooh, his boots might be better, though. What are my boots? Two light. Two light. Oh, they're the same? His are in better condition, though. I'll put them on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Okay, what can I throw out that's heavy? These are not worth that much. I don't need one bolt of cloth. Uh, where was his cuirass? Actually, that's worth a lot of money, though. Mori's left glove. What the fuck is that? Iron cuirass. How much is that? 30. I have room for it for now. I'll take it for now, and if I need to dump it. Holy shit. I, okay. That was really scary that I couldn't see him. That was scarier than any spell you could actually cast in the game. Okay. Well, we know this is the right way. So that's good. God, I'm, I'm like, I'm shaking. Okay, back on the Dwemer Bridge. Quick save. Are the Dwemer dwarves in uh, Elder Scrolls? Because they're like industrious ancient peoples. I feel like that's usually a dwarf thing. Steel keg. Oh, a diamond. Holy shit. Raw glass. I'm going to have to find somewhere to s store all my drugs, though. Oh, shit. I think I just threw that money on the ground. I did. Maybe I can put all the drugs in the old man's house. Uh, although, he, sa he said not to touch his stuff. He said I could sleep in his bed, but not touch his stuff. So I don't think that's a good idea. Is this the door? Oh, yeah. Wait, I have to pull on a pipe to open it. Here we go. Dwarven crank. Okay, so the Dwemer are dwarves. Nice. Wait, it's gonna... But how do I... What? Do I have to, like, run through when it's mid-crank? But then won't I be locked inside? Oh, my God. I hope I'm, I've... <laughs> 
I have a strong feeling I should have gone to town before this and that I'm under level. This is fucking scary. And I my inventory is like full of junk too. Okay. A little platforming. I want to shoot this guy with my bow from up here, but, uh, I, uh, oh shit, no, okay, they're bad, they're bad, they're bad, they're bad. Let me eat these yams. I don't, I don't actually don't know if the food helps. Actually, it has no effect. Okay. Oh boy, okay, let's try this. Maybe they can't path up here, I'll get lucky. Oh, he's coming right up. Shit. It didn't work. My cheese plan didn't work. Come on, get up. Maybe he can't come up here. Where'd he go? What? Oh, shit. I think, I think he fell. I think they, I don't think they, <laughs> I don't think they can get up here. Oh, everyone watching this is booing right now. Hey, if you're watching this and booing, uh, what do you think of these headshots? What do you think of that? You like that? Also, I, there's no way I could have beat these guys because this guy is taking 4,000 arrows. But now we'll advance the main quest. I'll increase my marksman skill. That guy just keeps falling. Don't fall, just get stuck. Shit. Oh, the fall damage! Oh no, he thought he was dead. Oh my god. These guys suck. Oh, nice dodge. I am out of arrows. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do a little, a uh, nasty little scum save here. And uh, go in for the kill. What's that noise? Where is he? There he is. He's stuck on his friend's dead body. Come here. Come here, you scoundrel. Now and I might let you live. Oh my god, I thought he beat me. I thought his health bar was my health bar. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, I'll take your dagger and your money. And no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Take an arrow. I don't. I missed a coin. That's fine. I don't know how many more of those guys I can fight in here. To be honest, I think I'm a little under leveled for this. Steel and iron Dwemer doors to Arthengard cells of hollow hand. Okay, before I go into this door, I have to see what's up here. Just in case there's a pass through and I don't come back out this way. Also, let me use my healing ring. Oh, shit. Good old Flynn. Uh, it looks like... This is also a way in. So do I go this way or do I take the door? Oh, oh it's not blocked. Uh, okay. I guess we'll see. Maybe that door was locked. I didn't try it. Oh shit. Hold on, I don't have any stamina. Okay, if this guy beats my ass, then we can, we can go out of here because uh oh jesus hello this character is in combat oh my god he's in combat with me oh that was that wasn't that bad i'll finish him so i don't look like a fool for saying that <laughs> i was like oh he's in combat 
All right, then he started attacking me. Okay. This game stresses me out. Oh, Ruby. Oh my god. This stuff is all pretty valuable. I don't have any... Ugh, I can't carry anything now. Steel and iron dormer doors. Jesus, that noise. Wait. Oh my god, it's horrible. Is that... Is there is nothing else down here? This place is huge! What's going on? What am I doing here again? Oh yeah, I need to find the the cube. Jesus Christ, there's more guys. Wait, I didn't hold on, I didn't save scum. Give me a give me a minute here. Okay. What about maybe death awaits you? Nice, nice. Nice. Okay, this is not so bad. We can do this. I feel less bad for uh, scumming the intro now. Okay. Any, any rubies? Ooh, raw ebony. No, I don't need scrap metal. Emerald, Jesus, I'm gonna be rich. This stuff's worth as much as moon sugar. Can you sort by weight? Probably not. Iron long, so I'll toss that. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Dwemer coin. Nice. Bowl goblet. Yeah, I don't need any other dwarf junk. I just need the cube, and then we get out of here. Oh, uh, expensive book. Acrobatics. I gotta remember to read books. I keep forgetting that they do uh, stat boosts. I love that you can click and drag them from the world. Someone should make um, an operating system where it's like a 3D environment and all the, <laughs> the icons are like, you click and drag them like that. It'd be really, really uh, impractical, but it'd be pretty cool. Maybe I'll make that. Maybe just pretend I didn't say that. Or pretend I did say it, but don't do it yourself. And just wait till I do it. Okay, it's not in here. God, that noise, horrible. They need some WD-40 down here. Okay, let me... Heal ring. Let me save scum again. I'll just overwrite this one. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna go slow, because I want to save... Uh, save stamina. Or rebuild stamina, rather. Hello? I'm scared. I don't like this place. I don't like that the noise keeps going. It's oh Jesus. You're not even trying. I'm gonna. Oh my God, you're not even trying. You fell down immediately, and you're dressed like a pirate. Oh, please die. Oh, please die. Yes. Oh my God, that was a pretty cool ragdoll effect. Uh, I don't care about four gold. I'm not picking that up. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's blocked. Let's see what's in this door. I gotta remember that that's a path I've not been on. Heaven's Gallery. Jesus Christ. There's so many guys. Let me get one charge of the ring off, and then we'll do it. <laughs> Never mind. It takes so fucking long. Okay. Here he comes. Nice. Get him again. Get him again. One more. Got him. No one has like a health potion? Come on. Heavy Dwemer desk. Where's the fucking cube? Not in there. Uh, okay, wait. Here's the... Didn't that guy say something about, like, a, f a river of fire? This is cool. Wait. I can't get down there? What? Oh. 
It's just, I just couldn't fit standing up. Oh, is this fucking platforming? No, I can't make that jump. Can I? No way. No way. Here we go. I didn't make it. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I told you I couldn't make it. Uh, alright. Well, maybe that's the, maybe that's the way out. Maybe when I go this way and it loops around or something, and you can make it going downhill. Holy shit. Get him. Get him. Get him. What's this guy look like? <laughs> look at his face. Um, right bracer. Do I have bracers on both hands? How do I tell? Maybe I, do I have, maybe I don't have any bracers on. Oh, left bracer, left bracer, right bracer. Okay, cool. I did not have bracers. Do those have armor rating? Yeah, they do. Oh wow. Okay. Nice. Let's do a quick save. I do need to heal at some point. And I can't just wait for the ring to be ready. This music is so stirring. Which is funny because I'm not really I'm not really doing anything right now. Oh, do I have a lockpick? I haven't used the lockpick since the tutorial. Lockpick failed, lockpick failed. Come on. Nice. 25 Dwemer coins! Holy shit! I think that's a lot of money. Game rules. I've, uh, I don't know why, but like something about this is really doing it for me. Oh shit! Lands blood gallery lock level thirty two. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a th level thirty two lock. Apprentice probe, apprentice lock pick, fishing pole. Do I have like a oh journeyman's lock pick? Let's try that. Lock too complex. Ship. What's the apprentice probe do? I have no idea what that does. Um. Okay. Well, I just that's all right. I can't go that way. Hopefully, the uh, the cube is not in there. I don't think they would do that. I don't think they would have like a, a quest item behind a locked door. I'm sure it's just extra loot for the, for people who chose uh, like a rogue. That's okay. You know, <clears throat> something I feel very strongly about is that games that have missable content are usually better games. I think if, if every, every experience in the game is something that I'm going to experience, then uh, I, I feel like I don't have like a specialized just me playthrough. Holy shit. Baby, you're dead. <laughs> oh my god, that yell. Oh my god. Was that my guy? That would sounded like Goofy. From like the Goofy movie. He did like the wahooey. Uh, Jesus. I didn't know that's what my guy sounded like. I'm really low on health. Oh, let me do a proper save just in case. No clip, 24. Where's your fucking cube at, dude? Oh. 
Holy shit! The door killed me! <laughs> what? Okay. Trapped. Oh. Okay. Good, so now I will be very cautious from now on opening doors. Oh, can I sleep here? Please. No. Uh. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Maybe I should follow this noise. Holy shit, there's a... Oh, I thought there was, like, another guy. I don't have that much health. Can I cheese this? Maybe she can't get through the door. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm out of arrows. I think. Oh, no, I have, I have three. I might as well even the odds a little bit. Come on, peek. Peek me. Peek me. Oh shit, okay, that was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake. That's what I get for being cheesy. Get her. God, I'm really low. Two more. Two more. One more. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, it's so close. <laughs> oh my god, it's a horrible face. This is like a golden eye NPC face. Uh, Jesus Christ. I guess I'll take the spear for now. Red Livia is her name. Oh. Friend is armor's hammer. Is that what I used to uh, repair stuff? Because that's cool. If that is what I needed. Oh, oh, it's a mug. <laughs> I thought that was a cube. I thought that was the cube I was looking for. It was just a coffee mug. Okay, hold on. We gotta save again. This is getting down to the wire here. I mean, I could sit here and wait for my ring to recharge, but. I don't think anyone wants that. Myself included. What about this? Drummer cylinder. Where's the cube? All the centrifuge. I, I, I can't really fight right now. Wait, this is, this is where I came in. Okay, but there's other doors. So that's Weeping Bell Hall. Oh, they're all Weeping Bell Hall. Uh-oh. Okay, wait, wait, these two go to the same place. So I probably have not been here yet. I think I'm just above where I was before. I'll check the quest log too. Bull. Yeah, that's just where I was before. Uh oh. Sorry, this gives me a chance to recharge my health ring. Uh, okay, let's see what the, the old journal says. Uh, Archivagond. Let's find a little cube with a circular design and some symbols. Dwemer puzzle box. The size of this may be a little bigger. Copper metal, circular design. That's all I want is that little cube. Yeah, but where is it? So immediately there are Malamar up the hill. An old road to ancient Dwemer Bridge over Foyata Mamea. The entrance to Arkthangad. 
It's on the east side of the Foyata, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on the pipe nearby to open the doors. I mean, that's where I am, but I, uh, the only place I didn't go was that jump across the lava bridge that I couldn't make. I'm pretty sure. I'm, maybe I walked, like, by it? Let me save just in case. <clears throat> I'll do another little scout. If we can't find it, uh, I'll get a snack and then we can hit it again. I'm, I'm a little relieved that everyone seems to be dead, though, because I was running very thin on health. So I have a hollow hand. Okay, this was this room. Just, I'm like, I almost just said, let me know if you see it. But when you're watching this, it's the future, so that doesn't help me at all. But let me, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you see it. And uh, it's, it won't help, but it'll, it'll make me feel bad at least. Fuck, dude. Where is this thing? Maybe, is it like... Hmm. Hmm. I gotta make sure when these fuckers didn't, like, have it on their person. Damn, dude. Okay. Well, so it's not, uh, the cells of hollow hand. It's not that. Oh, a ruby. Nice. Worth it. Okay. It's gonna be like a, sitting on a table somewhere. Like a, it's just like a paperweight to these people. Wait, what's this? Hold on. What's this room called? Weeping Bell Hall. Okay. This is, uh. Why can't I place what this reminds me of? Oh, it looks like the uh, the Fleetwood Mac album cover. That's what it was. Not a pirate. Heaven's Gallery. Okay, this is the downstairs area of where we already were. Common Bell. Shit, dude. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, that's the... Maybe you can make that jump, and I was just too coward to do it. Let's try. Let's try again. No caps lock. Wait, what's happening? There we go. I just screenshotted by accident. I, I can't type because I'm reaching around to my microphone. I'm not like, I'm not that bad at typing, I promise. Okay. There's no like feather fall, is there or something? Oh, wait, is there another? Uh, is there... Oh, is this another path? Is this a... Is this right? Oh no, oh no! It, I don't think it likes this. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Oh! Oh my god. I can't move. I, can't. I fucking broke the game. I can't move, I broke the game. Okay, it doesn't like that, it doesn't like that. Uh, all right. How can I... <sighs> Man, how can I get more... more ups? It doesn't... it does not like when you jump on this shit. It's like a, a bad Unity prototype when I'm up there. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna get a little stamina. I'm gonna hit... I'm gonna go for this corner. I don't think I can make it. I thought for sure that it wanted me to go over there. There's no, like, I don't know. I was going to say there's no, like, physics object I can place here, right? Come on! Oh, I didn't even jump. I didn't even jump. Uh, I'm just going to die because I don't have time. Oof. Yes. Okay. Damn. 
Alright, tell you what. I'm gonna grab a snack really quick. We're saved. And then we're gonna we're gonna find this fucking cube. Do not worry for it. A dang second. Alright, we're back. Uh minor time skip because I went to eat tofu and uh chili crisp. And also because I had to wander this entire dungeon looking for the fucking cube so I didn't waste your time. Uh because I figured no one would wanna watch me just walk through empty hallways. And I noticed a little ledge out here, a little a little innocuous staircase. And uh I've definitely not been up here. So this has to be it's the only place in the dungeon I've not been. I literally went to every other location and uh, I started the recording as soon as I saw something new. So I think this is it. And if this is not it, then uh I guess, oh, I guess I'll look it up. I guess. I don't know. We'll see. So is the hollow hand though. Holy shit! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. At least there's a dude in here. That's a good sign. What the fuck? Nice. You should rest and meditate on what you learned. Oh, I leveled up! Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Get him! One more! Oh, boy. Boss Crito. Pitcher, goblet. Ooh, cure for disease. Uh, oh, nice. An unlocking spell. That's good. Potion of shadow. Is there like a? Are there hotkeys I'm missing? Like, is there a shift click or a control click or alt click? No. There's. Not. Sorry for the fucking bubbler noise. Uh. Okay. I can't fit any of this. I don't really need any of it. Expensive belt, though. Ooh. No, that's fine. Okay. Please, please be in here. Is it just in, like, a random crate? Holy shit. <laughs> wait, wait. It's just on a shelf? Holy shit, that's actually it. I'm over encumbered. It's just sitting on a shelf. Like a like a common cog. Uh what's something's going on with the UI. What's happening? Why can't I Oh there we go. Okay. Let me put my helmet back on. Uh and let me dump Let's see. Steel dagger. Don't need it. I literally cannot believe it was just sitting there. Like a piece of trash. I also cannot believe that this room is so off the beaten path. Like, I went in every room in this entire dungeon, and I did not see this place. Uh, okay, well. It was worth the 15 minutes that I was not recording to just wander around. Uh, cool. All right. Let's bounce. At least we know for damn sure we did everything here. Let me save, because I have no health, and it seems, like, very risky. Getting back. <clears throat> okay, good. I'm relieved. I was starting to feel like maybe the quest was bugged or something, and then I came out here, and I was going to just say... I was going to start the recording and say, let's just go, and uh, maybe we'll come back, but I saw that little ledge. And that was it. Pretty deep dungeon to have the quest item in the, uh, the second room in. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. We did it. Okay, so now... I do want to see what's over this hill. But now we just go back to... Bal Balatoro. It's not called Balatoro. That's the that's the poker roguelike. I like these guys. What's up, dude? I wish you could pet them. <clears throat> that's how I want to roleplay. Todd, if you're listening. Uh, Elder Scroll 6. Pet scribs, please. Really, really would appreciate that a lot. And Todd, well, I have you. A <laughs> few ideas I've got. 
uh, no. Not really. Although I would love to just hang out with Todd Howard and talk to him about sandbox RPGs. Is this? This is the way, right? Yeah, okay. I've, like, I've left and I ate dinner and I lost all memory of this game. Uh, also, I feel like if you're still watching this, you're deep enough into this video for me to reveal the horrible culture clash dinner I made. Uh, I didn't want to take the time to make rice to put my chili crisp tofu over. So while I was frying up tofu and chili crisp and peanuts, uh, I threw a bagel in there and I chopped it into quarters. And I'll tell you what, you throw a bagel in a nice little stir fry at the very end so it doesn't get too moist, it's kind of, it kind of is like a deconstructed New York deli version of like a, like a dumpling or something. It's got that like yeasty breadiness to it that, uh, this music is fucking, I feel like I'm telling you the most important information ever. And I'm just talking about putting bagels in a, in a stir fry. Uh, so yeah, if you learn one thing from the Elder Scrolls three Morrowind, it's that you can use a bagel in any way you want and no one can tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone stop your flow and break your stride. Okay, we're back. With the Wookiee screams. I love being welcomed by a Wookiee. Oh, was this guy tiptoeing out of town? Uh, okay, so do we... I think I go back to... Um, Hitchepsit or whatever his name was, Hephaestus at the Fighters Guild. I don't think I go back to the old man yet, although I do want to go rest. Should I go rest? Do you get XP for finishing quests? Because I wonder if I need to rest in order to level up in order to get the XP. Because I wonder if my XP cap is like maxed out. Like I can't get more XP until I sleep. Let's go to the old man's house real quick. I think it's just, I think this is the back of it. Let me over. Let me over. Oh, come on. Just let me over. Uh, no. Is this it? This is not it, is it? No. Where am I? Uh-oh. I think... Shit. Where was it? It was on this side of the river was it now i'm doubting myself no oh it's like oh, i'm in like the total wrong side of town that's okay honestly i'd pay for it in to not have to make the the track whatever i'll just go to the fighters guilds right here okay so this guy was in the basement I wonder if this game has an arena like Oblivion. I would love that. Hello, friend. I did your little hair. Perfect, just what I was looking for. Just let me take this Dwemer puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius uh, will want to know about the sixth house and about the Nerevarine. By the way, the inscriptions of the box seem to be the directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. Uh, if you're interested, after you've delivered your report to Kai, come back and uh, maybe I'll have a key you can take back to Arkngarhand. I have to go back there? <laughs> I don't want to go back there. Okay. Thanks, dude. The sixth house were one of the cults, right? House Dagoth is the sixth house. The lost sixth house. Is that the guy from... Is that the guy from Oblivion? Wasn't his name, like, John Dagoth? Uh, in the first age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the uh, the War of the First Council. It was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some six house, house references he should read. Oh, thanks, dude. Greetings. Strange. He gave me like a book list for the old, the old drug addict man. Is the is okay? Here's a question: Is the old yes, what is drug it? addict man? Like, is he like? I will listen up. Is he undercover, and that's why he does drugs, or is he just like a yes. cool, 
like Secret Service assassin who's real into drugs, but he's so good at being a blade that they don't care, you know? Like, you would think a guy who's addicted to moon sugar and stands around shirtless would, it would be like a liability for the blades. But, I don't know. Maybe that's like the perfect cover. No one would ever sus I mean, if I saw that jacked old man, I would know something was up, but I definitely wouldn't suspect that he was an assassin. How can I help you? Give me a damn minute. You had a disturbing dream. You only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead as though a wedding celebrate as through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking, as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. Wait, I didn't get my health back. Oh. Okay. You've ascended to level two. I was like woken up by the nightmare. I couldn't level up. Realize that all your life you've been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you've come alive. Damn. That rules. That's me when I'm on a road trip. Uh, okay. Wait, do I get to... Do I pick one of these? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, times five. Oh, okay. I remember, I remember from Oblivion. You get, like, multipliers on certain stuff every level. Speed. And agility is bows. Dodge. Hit targets in melee. Oh, that's really good. How fast I can move. Oh, how fast you can move is pretty good, too, though. Endurance. Maximum fatigue. Yeah, okay. That's what, that's what we're doing. Nice. Okay, we leveled up. Let's save. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> Look at this fucking specimen. Let me just take a look at you, dude. My god. If I texture painted this model, I would be like, this is this is too much. I need to tone this down. Uh, are you here to discuss your orders, Jube? Yes. These notes are from Hasfada and Tabulus. Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. I'll look them over in more detail later, but now I have some new orders for you. I've glanced at Hosfod and Tablis's notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Ner Nerverine cult. I've got to learn how to say that. Hop on over to the... Be he knows that I jump everywhere. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Fighters Guild. Get Sharn Grab Musgob to tell you what she knows about the Nerverine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Uh, do what she has and report back. Okay, cool. You got it. Uh, do I anything I need to know about Sharn? Very smart for an orc. An unhealthy interest in the dark arts, perhaps, but very smart. She's always worried that the temple will bust in and stick her in a fire, and worried with good reason. Okay. Is there anything else I want to ask you? Gildon. Isn't Gildon the, uh... Isn't that a t-shirt company? Nightblade Gildon lives in Aldrun, the Red Oren district uh, seat north of here. Uh, beyond Caldera, Gildon is in the southeast corner of town. I don't... I don't know who, why I care about that person. Uh, it's, it's just too much to ask you, dude. Hey, do you want some moon sugar? No. Can I... Oh, fuck. Where am I going to store my moon sugar? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Here's an idea. What if I put it on his nightstand? <laughs> I'm, like, going into, like, a coke fiend's house. And I'm like, can I... Is it cool if I store all this coke here? Take a thousand dollars of coke and put it on his nightstand. And where's my skooma? Uh, listen, man. I'm gonna leave this here. Do not do my drugs, all right? Those are those are my selling drugs. Those are not your doing drugs. Uh, okay, let's find a store. I have so much junk, and I really would like to sell some of it. I think I'm. I think this is like a residential district. South Wall Corner Club. These are all houses and corner clubs. Does this place have one store? Oh, Trader. Okay. Okay, let's go. I do want to explore a little bit, but I feel like the quests are kind of giving me... What? I... What? I am a sleeper, one among thousands. 
I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you, Jube, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Oh shit, I can side with Dagoth? He's the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams. We shall sweep our land clear of the Noah. Uh, why have you... I feel like that's, a, that's probably offensive. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. Tell me about the sixth house. Sixth house, the sleeping house, Lord Dagoth. House of Lord Dagoth. I got a peanut in my throat. <clears> throat. I'm dying. The true house, the one house, to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Noah from our land. Take heed, Outlander. Uh, the day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, this will be no place for you. And then I can ask, he's going to say, like, Soulside is fucking cold. A terrible place. I've heard. Yeah, okay. Quickly, Outlander. Uh, I, I don't think I want to side with the quick, evil necromancers. I mean, that sounds cool, but, like, I don't know. I I feel like a lot of games, when they have, like, a clear evil side, if you side with them, then they're just like, now do our nefarious deeds. And then the people you're doing them to are like, please don't murder these babies. And then you're, as the player, is supposed to just be like, I'm evil though, haha. -ha. And it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that feeling. But this is the traitor. Where's the traitor? What? There's no one here. Where do I sell stuff? Oh, there you are. Holy shit. Questions. Mm. Yeah. Barter. Uh. Is there a persuasion minigame? Maybe I should be persuading. God, look how cool my guy looks. Okay. Do you want 35 Dwemer coins? Ooh, that's a lot of gold. That's like all his fucking gold. Okay, wait, 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 wait. But those don't weigh that much. Those don't weigh that much, so I'd rather sell heavy stuff first. Uh, oh, I'm going to be fucking rich. Steel Spear. Kind of left gauntlet. I'll save that. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh my god, I'm going to be so rich. Potion, potion, potion. Restore agility. Diamond. Do I have anything else that's heavy? I don't think I do. I think everything else is uh, is pretty light. Oh, we got so much money. Okay, okay. Calm down. Sell heavy ass. Why was I carrying a Dwemer cylinder? That thing weighs like a thousand pounds. Okay. Two diamonds. Oh, he gave me a shitty rate on those. Damn. That's okay. We're still gonna clean him out. And then give him like, uh. Give him like five, eight Dwemer coins. Yeah, now give him a couple more. Give him a couple more. Give him like four more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Can we buy a better sword? Is that what I want? Do you, have a, do you have, like, a really good sword I could buy? Chitin short sword. No, that sucks. Iron Claymore. 1 to 20-something for most, except Thrust. <clears throat> I feel like we're not going to beat that. Demon Tonto? What the fuck? Oh, it's not that good. I just it had, like, new UI elements. It tricked me. Iron Claymore. That's what I have, right? Throwing star. Okay, this guy has terrible weapons. He does have arrows, though. Give me, like... Give me, like, a hundo. And then... Hey, why don't you take a couple more of these Dwemer coins for your troubles? I'll just use Dwemer coins to buy all the arrows. Oh, he doesn't have enough gold. Wait. Give me those back. Total cost five. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Okay. It's like we're fucking rich. 
This rules. 31. Okay. Uh, I wish I could find a place to sell all my drugs. That'd be great. Then I would be really rich. Okay. Someone watching. I need to. Uh, this is the major skill. I need to find um, Gliz Gliz Glub. Please, I'm listening. It wasn't you. It was like Glog not not Glog Cloth. It was like a really <clears throat> extremely orcish name. Oh, this is nice down here. This is like underground. That's an orc, right? Sharned Grub Moose God. That's it. No, no interruptions. How many times? Oh. Are you one of Caius's associates? That's a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement. I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Levul Andrano. But in the Andrano ancestral tomb. I feel like we, we went by that. I almost said drove by that. I feel like we drove by that the other day. Um... Done up to the natives. The Dunmer have peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy. Take grave objections to unauthorized tomb visits. Okay. The tomb is south of Pelagiad. Oh, no. We definitely did not go there. Just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards... Okay. Towards the starting zone. And southeast to Vivek. You may need an enchanted blade. Oh, shit. Oh, she gave me one. Take these old scrolls. Oh god, I remember this in Oblivion. There was like ghosts that the uh, melee didn't work on. Okay. Let's see. Let me read this one more time. <clears throat> South of Pelagia, just off the road. Alright, that's good enough. I can check my uh, journal as well. Ooh, what do you have? What do you have to buy? Oh, do you want to buy a bunch of Dwemer coins? I don't buy that item. Okay, whatever. No worries, no worries. Do you sell, like, health potions? Cheap potion of fortify health. I wish I knew what that did. I, because I, oh, fortify health potion. I, I don't know if that restores health or if it buffs health. Oh, restore health. That's what I need. Restore Magicka. Restore Fatigue. That's pretty good, too. Cheap Restore Health. I just want to Restore Health. Although Restore Fatigue is pretty handy. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, I don't... I just want Restore. I don't want Fortify. No, thank you. And no thank you. I think that's my final offer. Nice. Okay. So, south of Pelagiad, towards the starting zone. Uh, I wonder if I can take the bug to Pelagiad. Should I take my drugs? What if we find a guy who buys drugs there? No, I have enough money. I'm not worried about it. I'm just, what if my drugs despawn? Or what if uh, Cassius Clay does all my moon sugar? Fresh game. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Do you go to Pelagiad? Travel. You do not. Ship. But you do go to Vivac. End the starting zone. Why walk when you can ride? Good point. You got me there. Yeah. Let's take it back to the starting zone. Oh, wait. But what was the other one that was Vivac? Do we know where Vivac is? I don't think I do. No. Let's go to Sayad Neen. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Oh, thank you. That's so kind of you. Yeah, so now 
I gotta find the road north. That's probably this way. Along the water over here. It feels like so long ago I was here. But I haven't been playing that long. I mean, I have been playing a long time, but like, in the grand scheme of things, not really. <clears throat> Although, <clears throat> my voice is getting shredded. I like, start yelling and shit when I get attacked and I'm like in a tomb. I'm getting shredded by Boss Crito. Uh, and then my voice goes away after like four hours. The Bitter Coast region. Why is my, my jump is like bugged? I was sliding around. Okay. This is the right way, right? Kind of. Wait, not really though. Wait, south of Pelagia. This is the wrong way. Fuck. It's alright. <laughs> what the? F what the fuck? I didn't even lose health. What happened, dude? Oh my god, stub his toe. Jesus Christ. Bugs. Nice. Getting strong. Feels good, man. This is definitely one of those RPGs where the uh, the improvement is such a slow burn. You, you really, like, I have not felt like I was getting much better at combat at all. But then you come back to Sayad Neen smash a couple maggots with your giant bastard sword and it's like I'm powerful okay so it's this way am I going to be able to get down <laughs> no that was really really sketchy okay that's this way Escadian Isles region What's up, little dude? I like how many friendly creatures there are. These little scribs are everywhere, and they're really cool. As soon as I rap on this, I'm Googling uh, scribs stuffed animal. I bet that exists. Although this is from an era where, like, like Oblivion became kind of like a mainstream sensation. I feel like this game was still a little, uh, I don't know about under the radar, but I feel like it wasn't plushy popular. It's like another echelon. What's up? I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, let's see. Give me a little, give me a little bit of lore here. Weapons and armor are less. Yeah, okay. I haven't... Speaking of, holy shit, that's actually such a good uh, bit of lore to drop, because I haven't checked the condition of anything. Oh, it's still pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot to look at the magic short sword. Fireblade. Okay, good. Uh, that'll come in handy for killing ghosts, I guess. What's up, beefcake? Give me a little lore. Oh, same lore. I've, You're uh, on your honor. Don't oh. press your luck. Okay, dude. Jesus, chill. Relax. South of Pelagia. Let me check the journal again. Uh, da 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 da. Andrano ancestral tomb. Is that an Italian name? Tomb is south of Pelagia. Just off the road, just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest. Okay, so I should follow the road out of here. So where is that? Okay. I think it's just over here. Man, I hope that Elder Scrolls 6 is really good. I love this game. And I played Oblivion like less than a year ago. And it was so good. 
And Skyrim is fine. I like Skyrim a lot as well. I, I loved it when I played it. Uh, I just feel like it doesn't have quite the same uh, zhuzh. What the fuck is that thing? Please don't hurt me. Okay, wait. That looks like it might be an Andrano family tomb. Let's check that out. Yeah, this looks promising. What do you say? What do you say? Hey. All right, making a quick save because there's a dead body on the stairs. <coughs> Excuse me if I'm getting a little rat. Holy shit, there's a fucking ghost. I'm getting a little raspy, I was going to say. Uh, okay. My fatigue is... Should I drink a fatigue potion? I didn't prepare. Take one fatigue potion. It didn't work. Oh, it did. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's happening? How, what's happening? How do I use this? charges. How do I use the magic on the... Do I have to equip the magic? What? How do I use the magic? How do I use the magic? That's just my heal magic. How do I use the magic? Oh no. This is terrible. I mean, there's no... Oh, a shield. There's no way I can just, like... Make my way through here, is there? No, I'm... There's no way. I'm gonna have to fight ghosts eventually. How do I hurt you? This is not working. What's happening? The the little uh oh that might be the durability is going down. Charge. I need a, I need a tooltip. Can I go to like the keybinds? Ready weapon, ready magic. Sneak run, R run. Next spell? I'll try that. Equals. Uh oh. Okay. I mean, I just saved, so it's, it's not that big a deal. Oh, I just. I'm just casting all my other fucking bullshit. Dude. How do I do? How do I do? Do I have to take the magic ring off to like make room? <laughs> what the fuck? Caswin strikes. It's but uh, here's what's confusing is if it casts when it strikes then shouldn't it have to hit like it can't hit him hold on you cannot read during the battle holy shit okay hold on hold on hold on hold on if it only strikes when it hits doesn't it need to hit a physical target in order to proc like it won't hit because it can't hit him right fire damage on touch Uh, okay. Did, did, did that, did that te teach me that? I'm so confused. Let's roll Taldem's Scorcher. Okay, let's see. Taldem's Scorcher. Let's try this again. Bro, 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. What? It didn't work. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah, bless me. Uh... I'm so confused. I hope it's not bugs. Uh... Okay, well this is bad because I I have to do this quest. I don't. Even, what am I supposed to do here again? She wants me to retrieve the skull of Lavul Andrano. Okay, easy. Maybe I can just speed run this. There's no way, right? There's gonna be a thousand ghosts in here. Holy shit. Is that it? No, that's a mushroom. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do it this way. What if, what if Andrano is one of the, oh, is this it? No, okay, I just. I'm just gonna load. I wonder, maybe my skill with short swords is too bad to hit. Is that possible? Fuck, this sucks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Fireblade. Short blade, one-handed. What's my short sword? Short blade five. Oh no. Yeah, fuck. I wonder if I if I just can't hit him because I'm too low skill. I'm I'm just looking for something to hit out here to to test the theory. Like if I can hit this guy, we'll know that something is going on. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to hit him. Look how cute he is. Okay, I'm. This is not for real. We're just. What the fuck? Yeah, I just can't hit you with this thing. I'm just. I just suck with this thing. Okay, well, this is really bad. This is really bad. So, like... Now I'm wondering if there's a place I can enchant my longsword. Because, if not, how the fuck do I fight ghosts? Fuck, dude. Let me... Let me try cheesing it again. There's no way this is gonna work. But I I feel like I don't have any choice. Holy shit. What the fuck is that thing? What is that? It's like a redead from Ocarina of Time. Holy shit. Okay. Uh Jesus Christ. Oh, that was like a poison arrow. Very cool. Cool trick, dude. Viper arrow. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can use the viper arrow. This guy might have just saved my life. Oh, he has a better bow, too. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. Let's do... Let's make another save. And then maybe the poison arrows. If I shoot it... Because I have better archery skill than short... Sword. Wait, longbow. One to ten. One to twenty. Maybe the poison arrows. I can kill ghosts. Let's see. Uh, okay. Thank you for your service.
Okay, let's pray that this works. I only have like 40 of them though. Maybe there, there might be more in the tomb. Look, can I make a donation and receive a blessing of, I don't know what any of this does. There is. Did I hit him? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's working. Target resisted magic. Oh, but he died. <gasps> no way. Oh, that's so sick. I, <laughs> I'm so glad that worked. Uh, big ups to the the devs. Uh, hey, if you're if you're listening to this a hundred years after you made this game, bravo for creating an alternate path that was not immediately obvious. Very cool. Uh, um, I, I thought for sure I was about to hit a dead end. I thought the run was dead. Now I'm psyched. Is that a ghost? There's like a weird texture pop. No, oh, it's gone. Okay. God, they really screw you by just giving you the short sword if you're if you're not a short sword user. Come on. Get his ass. This guy hits hard. Oh, this guy hits hard. Iron shield. I just got one of those, didn't I? Oh no, I think that was the uh, that was before. Okay. I can hear like the whispers of the damned in here. Okay, we got this. I might need to use a potion. Potion, uh, cheap restore health. Just use like one or two. Does it use two? No. Come here. Come here. Ow, you bastard. Come here. Just gotta go for the archer first. Maybe I take it. Maybe I do like first-person fantasy combat. I feel like I spoke too soon. Oh, damn. Okay, that's fine. I don't. I'm scared of the robots on the loading screen. Shit, I didn't save after that. Ro uh, <laughs> not that robot. I didn't save after the skeleton. I will this time. Come on, get him. Okay. I'm going to use two of those. Oh, no, that does a lot. Let me use one more. Okay. Quick save. Get in there. I'm going to try to pull one of these guys because uh, facing them both at once is kind of rough. Holy shit. Come on. Oh, the archer got here first? It's critical damage. Did I get critted? They did so much damage to me. What's going on? Hit him! Come on. Get him. Get him. Nice. Okay. Oh, and he's got more magic arrows. Spark arrows. That's cool. And the same longbow. Same shield. Same longsword. Nice. These guys are wrecking my health, though. 
I probably shouldn't have quick saved after that guy critted me because he took all my health. But uh, that's right. I don't want to. I don't want to like scum every little thing. Silver dagger. Nordic battle axe. Ooh, repair prompts. I feel like that'll come in handy. Okay, um, I'm gonna use a potion, I think. Cheap restore health, do I have a, is bargain? Cheap is better than bargain, right? Now? Okay, yeah. Okay, save real quick. God, I hope this place isn't big. I'm kind of getting my ass kicked. I also hope it's easy to find the skull. I hope it's not like the Dwemer cube. Ghoul heart? That's worth a ton of money. see a skeleton and I see a guy inside that door clipping through all right come here nice nice is that halberd worth anything no all right come out come here Who's in there? It's another redead. Oh, Jesus, he's got magic. Come here. Come here. Stop it. What is he doing? He's, he's like debuffing me. I'm over encumbered. He was like taking my encumbrance. Oh, nice. Scroll of Elemental Burst Fire. Nice. Restore luck. Shock resistance. Bone Mold Helm. Is that better than Chitin Helm? Almost certainly, right? The Chitin Helm is so cool looking, though. It's like a... You know what it looks like is those, um... Those, like, weird bike helmets. The, the super aerodynamic ones. I'm reading five... I'm reading 19, oh boy. I don't care how cool it looks. Okay. Trash, 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 trash. Ow. Uh, I just saved, I have very low health. I don't wanna use every potion, but. What's that? Dagger. Bunch of junk. Oh, I should start reading these. I keep forgetting. Some of them do stuff. Okay. Wait, is this a dead end? Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna have to scour the whole dungeon again looking for an item that's sitting on the shelf. Oh! Hey. Yes and no. Dagger of Judgment. Why is that worth no money? Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. This place sucks. I'm really bad at finding quest items in this game. I'm starting to realize. I think I really gotta pay closer attention to the actual physical objects in a room. Anything I want to do while I'm in this region? I kind of just want to head back to Balmora. I could go to Sedanine and uh, 
Catch the bug bus. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Go to Balmora, turn in the quest. Join the blades, maybe? Join the blades, why not? No clue. 36, okay. So I didn't aim this way, right? Vivek, Ebenhart, wait, what? Sit and eat. Wait, sit and eat this way? Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a fucking rat. Oh, it's cute. That didn't kill it? Oh, that's sad. Sorry, dude. Oh, shit. I'm over encumbered from the rat meat. Goddamn. Yeah, I don't think we need a bunch of rat meat. Straight's just like the ocean. What are you talking about? Oh, I see, I see. There it is. The old bug. What a, This is like a really cool... I don't know, there's something about the aesthetic of this game that's like... It's very traditional fantasy, like European medieval fantasy over here, but then having like a giant bug that you ride around is... I don't know. Just a little kind of like weird esoteric twists on a familiar premise. Works very well. Why walk when you can ride? That's what I'm saying. Travel to Balmora. Why walk when you can ride? I yeah, I know. Okay, I always get lost when I get off the bug bus here. It is straight ahead. Where do I see my XP progression? Can you see it? Maybe it doesn't show you. I don't think you can see it. Or wait, hold on. You can expand the windows, right? Yeah, but I, I don't see it. Oh! Listen, Outlander, but make uh, it ahead. Get out of my way. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Everyone is so rude. I'm not even trying to talk to them, and they're just like, stop wasting my time. Can we hurry this along? See? Do you see what I'm talking about? Say your words. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as promised, I'll answer the questions on the Nerverine cult. Go ahead. As Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to the legend, the prophecy Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship. Oh, see? Another red flag here. Traditional ancestor worship. That's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's an old Moro Elder Scrolls dog whistle. Uh, practice by the Ashlanders and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult. But it persists among the Ashlanders who care little for Imperial or Temple law. Here, take this. Copy of my notes. Oh, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Tell me about Ner Nerevar. Nerevar is a first age hero of the Dunmer people. He was a great general and leader. He helped form the First Council that united the Dunmer houses against foreign invaders, aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Morwin's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in the battle. Okay. Uh, I mean, if he was like a anti-imperial dwarf commander, that's pretty cool. Maybe I do like the uh, the ne ner never 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 nerverine. I don't know. But I also like the shirtless Outlander. drug addict. Much time. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Okay, let's go to Caius. How long is this game? I feel like I could just quickly play this forever. 
Not in terms of like the amount of content that's in it. It's just like this game is fun. I'm waiting. Caius, my boy. Please, by all means. He didn't touch my drugs. He left them here. That's cool. All right. That is where the drugs stay from now on. That's how you know you can trust someone. Uh, I'm here to discuss my orders. Are these Sharn's notes on the Nervarine cult? Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice. Fuck yeah. Now give me some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. And I'd like to see you at a higher level of conditioning before... He's like, oh, you're so out of shape. Before I send you out again. Take some time to polish your skills and enhance your cover story with a little freelance adventuring. Then, when you're at the level of performance I want to see, I'll have new orders ready for you. What? What? <laughs> what level do I... What level does he want me to be? I'm not ready for you yet. And you're not at the level of performance I'm looking for. So as I said, take some time to polish your skills. Flesh your cover story. Okay. I mean, that's pretty sick. I, I like that Um, earlier he did a similar thing where he was like, go join a guild and like, go do your thing uh, and prove yourself to me. That's like a good... Uh, when I was talking earlier about san uh, sandbox RPGs, um, I feel like that's a good way to structure it. Where it's like, it's not totally hands-off. Like, there is a main quest to return to. So it's not just, like, make your own fun. But within that structure, that larger superstructure, it's like, just, like, go. I, I need you to go make your own fun for a little bit in order to see the more curated stuff. I think that's a nice balance. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, I'll leave my drug. Don't touch my drugs, please. So what other quests do we have right now? I should take some time to polish my skills and enhance my cover story. When you reach level three or higher, return to Caius for more orders. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm actually, I am glad it tells you how high he wants you to be, though. Because uh, because uh, there's no fast travel in this game, it'd be kind of annoying if I hit level three and came back. And he said the exact same thing. Go ahead. All right, let's... Speak, traveler. I mean, we could go explore a little bit. Oh, the the uh, Fighters Guild guy said he might have like a Dunmer key for me. Let's go see what he says. What do you want? And then, other than that, I'm down to just like hit the road and explore a little bit too. I haven't done oh, much of that. Uh, was it the? basement guy? I can't remember where this guy was. I think it was. Yeah. I'm How listening. can I help you? Ass fat. Ass, ass hat. Sorry, that's so rude. Uh, you already gave me the dead repo- Yeah, but you said come back! Don't be rude! Well, yes, I've forgotten. Here's a Dwemer key. Made according to the instructions I found in the puzzle box you brought me. I have no idea what it's good for. If you take it back to Argthnhan to maybe find the lock it opens. Oh, yeah. Wait, wasn't there a door? Was that where the, like, level 35 door I couldn't pick was? Oh, my God. I really don't want to go back there, but I want to see what's down there. Shit. Are we going back there? Do I have the key? Yeah. Oh, no. That's the slave key. Did you give it to me? He must have. I gave you the drummer key, didn't I? Yeah, okay. You must have. Uh, what's this? Oh, locked. And trapped. Watch your step. I'm pretty sure that's where the door was that I couldn't get into. But where in... All right, I'm, listening. I'm trying to picture where it was down there. Because I remember being like, they wouldn't store a quest item behind a locked door I can't open. Oh, shit. Is that what I want to go do? I'm very conflicted. Let me save again. Uh, it's either that or... I mean, we could just, like, hit the fucking road. See what else is out here. We could just go north from Balmora. That might be cool. Yeah, what about that? What about... We'll go to Arkgenarth another time. But for now, 
Let me get to the northeast of town and just see if there's a road out. Because if there's just a road north to the rest of Morrowind, like, let's go. Let's see what's up. It'd be cool to find another place on the the bug travel circuit. I don't know if it's I don't know if that's like how it works where you unlock more bug travel though. It might have like separate routes that don't go here. Although I feel like it it would be kind of insane to have the rest of the world just be gated where you you can like only walk back here. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, get up. Get up there. <sighs> oh shit, look at that. Okay, yeah. I want to see what's up here. This is cool. This game rocks. Almora. All right, let's go. We're going north. Or kind of north. Northeast. Oh shit, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's not, it's, oh, it's not that tough. Nyx Hound. That wasn't so bad. I thought there was going to be, like, high-level enemies right outside of the north side of town to, like, tell me not to go. Caldera, Pelagiad, Almora. Uh, yeah, let's go to Caldera. Was Caldera on the... I don't think that was one of the bug places that you can ride to. That's right. I think I'm supposed to push the boundaries a little bit. Because I could go back to Akanoth, but the thought of it makes me sick to my stomach. Even if there's cool stuff deeper down. scarier than they are. Although, I spoke too soon. Get him! Get him! Hit him! Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, what's happening? Why can't I, why can't I hit this guy? There we go. Good lord. Caldera and Aldruin. That's new. I heard someone mention that place, but... I'm trying to... I, was Aldruin the place that the... What the fuck was that thing? Wait, quick save. I feel like Aldruin was the place where there were evil wizards. Oh my god! I feel like this thing's about to fuck me up. Oh my god. Get him! His skills are too high! Oh my god, please. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Get him! Oh my god, please. Elite hide. That's an elite. Oh look. Is that Caldera? That's a cool building. I really like the architecture in this game. It's somewhere between Oblivion and, like, Fable. What's up, fellas? What is this place? I'm listening. Where are we? Is this Caldera? Caldera is an Imperial Charter town, part of the Caldera Mining Company. Which grants the company rights to mine ebony from the deposits here. The Caldera ebony mines themselves lie to the southwest. The town has a real western flavor. Makes outlanders feel right at home. Caldera is rich, bound to get richer, since the profits and the ebony exports continue to grow as the mine operations grow. Uh, okay. 
Caldera Mining Company. Caldera Mining Company is chartered by the Emperor to try Ebony. Yeah, okay. I was more so hoping he would tell me, like, where to find them. From where do you hail? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, do you know anything about the Caldera Ebony Mine? Southwest of the village. There's an office, a bunkhouse, guard tower. I think you're taking a look while you're here. Head straight west from the town. Swing around south into the bowl of the mine. West and then south. Or you can climb straight over the ridge. Okay, let's um, let's do that. Oh, is this a tavern? Yes. Uh, I have a bunch of shit I can trade. Hello, sir. Do you have anything that may be of use to me? Sell my books. Oh, that guy hates books. He was not willing to pay much for those. What about some ectoplasm? Real life ectoplasm. What do you think of that? Um, you can take my gauntlet. No, I'll keep that. Uh, but I do... God, these magic daggers are worth nothing. How about some rubies? Yeah, okay, good enough. Do you have any cool weapons? I haven't met anyone who has a better sword yet. Iron battle axe, iron dagger, iron short sword, iron viper blade. Oh, it's used, it's half charge. Silver long sword. I think, now hear me out. I think in Oblivion, silver weapons were able to hit ghosts. So maybe I should buy like a silver claymore or something for just for ghosts. Silver short sword, silver staff. Kind of a big investment for if I don't know if it actually works though. Silver bolt. I feel I'm going to buy a silver long sword and just hold on to one. Cuz if that's the only way to do it, that's my highest skill. Uh, okay. What's this then? What did he just I thought he was mad. He said, like, what? Speak freely, friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel, it's, people, like, sneak up on you in this game. It's freaky. What the fuck is this dude's deal? Summoned by another. Is this West? Yeah. I'm listening. Good. I was testing you to see if you were listening. Okay, this is the road to the west. Road to the west, and then he said, wrap south into the bowl of the mine. He also said you could go over if you could make the climb. Is that it down there? That looks like a caldera. Oh, there's a caveman down here, though. Why is this man naked? Uh, come on, then. Say something or move on. <laughs> You've left me speechless. Hail and well met, stranger. As ye can plainly see, I require some assistance if ye be kind enough. I need help to find the festering witch who robbed me blind and left me for dead. Okay. A witch she had to be. I was on my way to Caldera when I met her. She was a stranger here like myself, and our conversations lightened the burden of travel. She was quite friendly, and, well, you know, we set up camp together. But that night she revealed the witch inside, cast a spell on me. I couldn't so much as blink. Stole everything, even my worn-out clothes. But most importantly, she took my prized axe, Cloud Cleaver. Oh, I could just take this guy's axe. Uh, join with me, stranger. <clears throat> if, there, if someone ever, like... If there was if there was like a like a test to see if you're a psychopath or like a sociopath and they made it into a fantasy RPG and let me play it, I feel like I would test for sociopathy. Because like in real life I would I would never take this guy's axe, but I know that he doesn't have real feelings. Uh, and so I want to. I'll help you find her. 
I knew you had the blood lust in you, stranger. No, I have justice lust. I have just lust. Okay. Yeah, okay. See you later, buddy. Good luck with that. See you never. I'm just kidding. I'll help him if I see a witch. But also, she might be cool. Oh, he's, she's following me now? I didn't know it was like one of those. Wait. Oh, this, guy, this guy's fucking coughing on me. Uh, must find this witch. I can feel a clap. Where is she? You know, the Rothgar is okay. Grand Terror. Uh, he doesn't know where she is though. Oh, now I've got this idiot following me. Can you not, dude? I think this is the mine. <laughs> Damn it, maybe he'll help me fight. Maybe I can get that, like, shitty uh, chat GPT add-on for Skyrim, where your companions are like, you're like, so, where are you from? And they're like, I am from a farming town that farms rice. Rice is a crop that grows in water. Water is a wet substance. Uh, I don't know, you. what do you want? I don't know, dude. I, uh, is this the mine? Wait, this is just, oh. That's not Caldera. It just looks just like it. Wait, this has got to be the mine, and that's got to be the mining company. Ashinamumu. Wait a fucking minute! Isn't that the name? I thought that was the name of the tutorial dungeon. I think that was Adamamu. I don't know, man. I've been playing this game all <laughs> for a lot of hours. I'm starting. To, it's all starting to blend together. Mining office. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, do you guys need any, like, help? Is there any sort of, like, infestation in the mine that I could clear out for you? If you're thinking of taking a look, head straight west from town. Wait, what? Swing around south into the bowl of the mine through the gap in the mountains. Uh, I. Th Is that. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. That's not where we are? First time Caldera? It's a little bit. What? I. Didn't the doors. I it is my Sa oh, look, it's Skyrim! Less fortunate than myself. What? I could have sworn the door said Caldera Mining Company. I thought that's where we were. I'm, I'm stuck on the ceiling. I can't steal anything with this guy following me. Is this it? I'm very confused. Killed her a mining bunkhouse. Yeah, this is like the mining area. Oh shit, can I steal with this guy with me? I wish he would go away. He's cramping my style. What if I could just jump down here? Bet you can't do that. Oh, he can. Slave shack. Wait a minute, I don't want to help these guys. They're slavers? Go free. Cannot be freed without the key. Fuck. Caldera's town and a mine. Slaves work in the mine. We know nothing about the town. Why do you approach? Note to slaves. Rules. Damage to company property will not be tolerated. If any further scratch marks are found on the bedpost, all miners will be given double shifts. No talking. Okay, this place sucks. I'm burning Caldera to the ground. Fuck this place. This is the mines, clearly. I saw a little cute little scrib down there. Oh, minecart section. Hop in. I want so badly for this to trigger like a... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought I got, was stuck. I want so badly for that to be like a like a interactive minecart sequence. 
In fact, mark my words. Someday, I'll make a game with a minecart in it. And when you hop in the minecart, it's gonna be like, there's gonna be a little lever you pull. And when you pull it, you're gonna be flying through a mine. Mark my words. I'm very, very lost. Do you know where we're going, dude? I could have sworn this was the mine because there's like mine carts everywhere. Slave Shack 2, mining bunkhouse, mining company office. I mean, I went there and I when I asked them about the mining company, they were like, if you want to find the mining company, make sure to go into the mountains. Oh, shit. I don't really have a reason to be in the mines right now, though. Um, although maybe I can kill these guys and take the slave, uh, slave key. Let's save just in case that's not what happens. I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Ooh, I don't want to. I don't know if I want to cross the Imperial Law. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Shit. It's like I want to free the slaves, but uh, I have to like kill a cop to do it. Go free. You must find the key. Shit. Speak, traveler. This scent is new. The raw ebony deposits here are the richest of the world, but don't think you can just come in here and pick the stuff up. The mine belongs to the emperor. Okay, wait. So, well, hear me out. The, the, the empire. The blades work for the Empire, which is what the old crackhead guy does, and that's what I'm trying to do. And they asked if I wanted to side with the evil cultists, and the cultists worship a, a dwarf militant who tried to fight off the Imperial occupation of Morrowind. And if well, him dying in the process and failing is what resulted in like a like an apartheid state where these dudes are mining ebony now and they can't escape. So like, maybe I do want to side with the, the cultists. I'm starting to think that this is, this game is like a bait and switch and you're supposed to be like, Oh, it'd be so cool to be in the blades. And then you get, you get a hundred lore dumps and you're like, the blades are like the cops. I don't know. How do I get out of here? I've got a, a naked man following me, and I'm lost. Okay, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the only problem with the lack of fast travel in this game is that now I'm like a thousand miles from where I want to be. Fuck. I guess it's not that far. So, what did that guy... Remember the guy who came up to me and he was like, "Join Degoth." I got. Can I look at my journal and find him? <sighs> Cause like maybe I do want to help Degoth. I spoke with one who called himself a sleeper. He called me by name and said, "You cannot deny your Lord Degoth or the Six House has risen and Degoth is its glory." He made no sense at all. Londres Belial, he is the lord and father of mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from her. Uh, here's the problem. Is like, I was just talking to the guys from Noclip this morning about this. That just because in Starship Troopers, the main characters are all evil fascists, uh, that doesn't mean that the bugs are the good guys. You know what I'm saying? So like, just because you're fighting against something bad doesn't mean you're the good guy. Uh, so even if the Empire are like slavers that that doesn't necessarily mean that the Dagoth or guys are good guys or that they wouldn't also have slaves I don't know I feel very morally conflicted right now which I guess is a a good wait did I st I ditched the naked guy nice very nice I could just I'm just gonna cut south the Balmora um because this place sucks. I don't want to help these guys all, at all. And I don't want to kill the guards because then I won't be able to like go into town anywhere. What's this? There's like a sewer pipe over here. 
Is this another mine? Oh, this looks like a tomb. Oh, over an ancestral tomb. This is, is this gonna be full of ghosts though? I don't have any patience for that. It's, it is gonna be, isn't it? Fuck. What is that though? Oh shit. Maybe there's some treasure though. Oh my fucking god, there's a ghost. All right, I'm out of here. I, I'm i sure there's a quest associated with this place and I don't think it's gonna do me any good rushing it right now. All right, I got a little bit of time before I need to wrap this session up, even though I would like to. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would just like fire up a bowl and play this all night. Uh, unfortunately, I have a couple other things to do, but this game is awesome. I wonder, I wonder if like, I wonder if Fat Session is the kind of series that has a part two, you know? Like, should I just play all of Morrowind across like a few Fat Sessions? I don't know. I know that like the No Clip Crew channel is not a, uh, is not a Let's Play channel. But, oh my god, this guy is fucked. Oh my god, this poor animal. Uh, but I do like doing these kind of long-form videos. Um, and, you know, I mean, I know this isn't like, it doesn't have the same punch as like a curated piece of heavily edited content where I'm, uh, you know, reading a, a well-researched script and it's produced and it's got all the archival B-roll and stuff, but... I don't know. I feel like there's something uh, informative about just having like someone's raw experience of playing a game too. So I think there's value in doing these things. It's just I don't know if there's room on the channel to just play all of Morrowind for like on the clock for work um, and record it. But it's a it's a really good game. I need to get out of this this caldera. I I took tried to take a shortcut and I got trapped. Where'd the naked guy go? Maybe he goes away at night. This is the first time in five hours that I wish I had fast travel. I'll be honest. They broke the old school gamer in me. My my resolve is broken. <laughs> so fucking slow. All right, what are we gonna go do? How do we how do we end this with a bang? It's a nice skybox. We could explore more. I, I feel like exploring is uh is fun, but I I do feel like the limitation in exploration sandbox is that a lot of what I'm finding when I explore are just areas that are like you know, you walk in and all the citizens are just like Can I tell you uh, do you need a tooltip? Can I offer you a tooltip? And then I just have nothing to do there. Uh but also, I probably just need to talk to more people. Fuck. But it's going to take me forever to get back to Balmar. Okay, tell you what. This is how we're going to... This is how we're going to end it. I'm going to save. No clip 42. And we're just going to send it north. We're just going. And I'll pick some fights. And we'll see. We'll see if I'm ready for the real world. Outside of the starter zone, you know? I'm 
let's see. Aldrune was... Oh, what is this black crater at the center? Maybe I just go towards that. What's up, dude? Bring it on. Stop it. Nice. Okay. So far, I haven't found any enemies that are super, super hard as well. I'm kind of curious to just see, like, a high-level enemy. It was a rat. Maybe it's a high-level rat. I also wonder if having low fatigue uh, meter affects your accuracy. Because I have been noticing that I never let it recharge, and I am missing a lot. But I also just have low blade skill, which I think is probably contributing to that. Oh, I don't want to find another Nyx Hound. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. Let's just go. I feel like we'll find something cool eventually. Maybe I'll go until we either die or find like a nice frontier town to settle down in. Get a bed, get a flag and a veil. Uh, this looks like a, a crater. Okay, this, is def this looks very foreboding. <laughs> it's just another Nyx hound. Dude. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> he, he, like, gave up for a second. He tried to fake me out. Got his ass. I also think I'm supposed to be holding the sword swing for longer before letting it go. I'm pretty sure. Rat. Let's see. I don't know. It seems to be missing just as often. Okay, let's keep going. I would like to see a new biome too. This is, I guess this is kind of a new biome, but uh, it kind of just looks like the other one with, with rocks. I'd like to see like a like a snow biome or like a jungle biome. Get up, get up there. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Oh shit, here's the road. Oh, signs. What the fuck was that? Margon, Nissus, Caldera, Alderun, Buckmith. Let's go to Nissus. What is that noise? I keep hearing, like, ambient animal noises in the distance. It's freaking me out. Bachmith, Aldrin, Caldera, Nissus. Mar Let's go to Margon. It's the farthest away from what we know and love. This soundtrack is so good. I could hear this song a thousand times. Oh, I cut it off. I hear battle. I could hear that song a thousand times and never feel any less stirred by it. <laughs> and this is this chiller version of it as well. Still. Do you hear that? What is that noise? I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to find what's making that noise, but it's freaky. It's another dungeon. These old RPGs really do feel like I, I always say they feel like MMOs, like when I play New Vegas and playing this and stuff. But I think it's just that, that they're like 
from the same era. Uh, New Vegas is later, but uh, some of these games are from the same era as like the MMOs that I really love the most. Because like I played a little bit of Dark Age of Camelot and stuff, but World of Warcraft is really the MMO that I like zested the most for all of its content. Um, I played a lot of Star Wars Galaxies as well, but that one was a little rougher on the edges. Oh wait, is this it? Ball Isra? What? There's nothing here. What is? Oh, is the what? Hold on. What is that? I guess I don't know. It must be like the name of uh, this like desert-looking campsite. Holy shit! There's a lot of guys there. What's up? What's up, my scrib? We gotta be getting close to Mal Malgon. I wonder if there's like a talk to animals thing in this game. Or like, I wonder if there's a way to interact with the scribs. Oh, there's a dude. You don't want to fight me, do you? Let me say, I'm not going to quick save. Uh, actually, I will just quick save. I was going to say I don't want to quick save because then I won't be able to get back if I decide this was a terrible idea, but I will. Hello. Speak, traveler. Okay. What's up? What's going on? Archer. Okay. Got what's my trade? I'm an archer. Okay. That's it. What are you doing out here? Ashlanders. Okay, they just raid each other. Milanippa. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Do you guys have anything? Hey, Wood Elf. I'm Bedden Gil Giladren, a poor pilgrim trapped by these Ashlanders. Can you get me out of here? Oh, Jesus, this is guy. Oh, this is a quest! Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to free this guy. Maybe I can persuade them. All right, I have the famous noble Bedden Gilderen. $5,000? What do you mean? You've not heard of the famous Redoran noble? He's not famous. He told me he was a famous noble of House Redoran. Perhaps you should speak with him. Okay. Uh, I thought the Ashlanders would kill me, so I told them I was a famous noble. I knew it was wrong, but what else could you do? Okay, are, are they gonna... Oh, they're probably gonna kill him if I tell them the truth. This is a famous noble is a liar and a coward? Very well. You can have him for five drakes. Is that five dollars? That's not like five hundred dollars, is it? Five gold. Okay, I, I bought you, dude. You paid my ransom? Thank you, Jib. Continue the pilgrimage on my own. No, you. why don't you come with me? Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. That guy's life was worth five. That, uh, honestly, I feel like I'd be pretty bummed out if someone ransomed me. I Well, you'd be just glad to escape with your life, but like, I'm not going to lie and say it wouldn't hurt a little bit to get sold for five gold coins. This is a new song. This sounds like battle music, but I'm not in battle. <laughs> it's like... I'm, like, walking across the whole game right now. Okay, don't fight anything. Okay, new, uh, new quest. If I can't... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is where it ends. This is where it fucking ends. Please, no! I have a quest! Please, no! Fuck. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll try one more time, and then we're calling it. Oh, I wanted to just like speak, traveler. I wanted to just like scum it up to the north side. Did I free him yet? Oh, okay. Well, I don't care about you, sir. I'm sorry. This is my last attempt. It's all or nothing. Maybe I can go up in the hills or something. 
What the? Who's fighting me right now? Was this guy following me before, and that's why I had battle music? I'm pretty sure that's what was happening. Oh no. Come on. Get up. Get up there. Yeah. Uh oh. That was just another pterodactyl. Come on. Get him. I I hate how much you miss. It's driving me nuts. Like I said earlier, just give me a little noise that's like clink. Just let, oh, like, I don't care if it's a pterodactyl. Just like let me think he blocked it with his talons, and I'll be happy. Oh no, that was just a rat. Come here. Please don't bother me. I'm on a pilgrimage. Get out of here. Why can't I kill this rat? Oh shit, that's one of these two. I think there might be too many enemies to just like corpse run it through here. Come on. Come on. Nice. Okay. Pop a, pop a heal. I also need to figure out the hockey system for this game. Oh, shit. There's so many enemies over here. It's insane. They're not any harder, though. They're just the same enemies. Like, this is actually a pretty good way to get XP, if I'm being totally honest. I think, anyway. I assume. We're getting close to the bay. I just want to make. I just want to see the water again, and breathe the salt air. Shit! Come on, dude. I'm trying to I'm trying to create a climactic end to my video here, man. Can you give me give me a little breathing room? We're almost here. One rat is all that stands between us and deliverance. You know, one RPG trope that is uh, that I do like and kind of miss in this game is it's always nice when you're walking into a new zone too, because like I like the immersion of like no damage numbers, uh, no like enemy names over their heads and stuff. But I really do like walking into a new area and seeing like, oh, the level grub, the level seven grubs in the last area are weak now because like, there's like a level fifteen grub. Um, I do kind of miss that convention. Come on, get him. There we go. Okay. We're almost there. It's right here. It's right over this hill. There's a rat. I'm trying to go around this rat. Come on. Let's just get there. I just need a nice vista to camp on. Is this it? It's right here, right? What's happening? Is this is on the map. Oh no. No, it's over. Oh no, there's like seven triceratops down there. My only hope is, like, jumping off a cliff that they can't path over. There's a bridge. Maybe they can't get on the bridge. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's good enough for me. Uh, 
I'll go see what these campers are all about, and we'll call it there. Thank you for joining me on this Morrowind journey. Uh, this game is a lot of fun. I really, really like this a lot. And I wish I wish it was Friday and I could just keep playing this all night. <laughs> uh, please be friendly. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. I was just trying to fucking find a cool camp to hang out at. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll fight to the death. I don't even know. Oh, these guys. Okay, talk about high level enemies. This guy's got a shit ton of health. It's over. It's over. Oh! Your pain is nearing an end! He was right. My pain was nearing an end. Alright. That's gonna do it. Oh, this has been a very fat session of Morrowind. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining me if you've made it this far. I very much appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, they're a lot of fun to do. And they're a nice break from more, you know, like edited stuff. It's it's nice sometimes to just play a game and talk over it and think about video games and kind of just like not go in with like a footage gathering mindset for a video essay or anything or for a documentary, but just to, you know, experience the game on its own terms free of any sort of exterior motive just uh just sink into it and immerse so yeah this was this was awesome i this game is fucking unbelievable uh and i am excited to revisit it and i'm i think i'm in battle now uh and i just noticed that there's a giant moon in the sky so with that i will bid you adieu and thank you again